What the heck is going on, everybody? Good morning. It's Friday, and you have made it through another week, and it's time to have some fun and look forward to the weekend. And that's why we're here for another kind of funny games afternoon stream to have a real good time. I want to give a big shout out to all the kind of funny best friends for tuning in to kind of funny games daily with Blessing and Greg. And now you are locked in and tuned in to part two of our Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty playthrough. It's me and Barrett's first time ever playing the Metal Gear Solid franchise, but it wouldn't be fun without all of you. And of course, our incredible best friends around the globe. We have our experts, Blessing, Kevin, and most importantly, Fox himself the latest twitch partner tam <laughs> in the building to play with us tam how are you on a friday i uh, you know what i think it's there's no better feeling than knowing that you're about to sit down to play metal gear for like an hour and a half two hours on a friday oh it is that is going to be the best friday everyone watching now is about to have a good time watching yeah. this because this uh, mike i know you love action movies you're about to get a dose of action movie Ooh, to start your friday damn. I'm I'm excited, Tam. I I you know you say it so well of like I'm excited because we get to do this on a Friday and it's like Tam I want to do this every day. I'm gonna be honest with yeah. you. I am now fully into Metal Gear. All I can think about <laughs> is Metal Gear. I'm writing up the kind of funny X cast and all I want to do is talk <laughs> about Metal Gear and I can't do that. And so yeah, Metal Gear has taken over my life and I know Barrett's all about it. And having you and Blessing and Kevin alongside is so so fun. So really, it's really great. But, you know, it is Friday. It's the end of the week. There's a lot to talk about. Before we get into the playthrough, we're kind of buying a little time so Blessing can come in and have some fun with all of us. So let me give you the quick rundown of everything you need to know about. Hey, it's a new month. It's August. It's the end of summer. So make sure to go outside. Get some nice sun on your face. Do all the adventures and activities that you want to do. But remember, there's still a gosh darn pandemic going around this globe right now. So please practice good social distancing guidelines. Wash your hands. Wear a mask whenever possible. If you want to get vaccinated, please go get vaccinated. Do yourself a favor. Most importantly, keep yourself and your family safe. But please, it's the end of summer, y'all. I stress to you, go outside and have some fun and just enjoy these final moments, these hot August nights, as they're referred to up here in Northern California. But... With that, that means it's a new month. It's a new time to reset and make some new fun monthly goals. And for the month of August, I said, you know what? Let's steam it around going back to school. Because as we wind down summer, we head into late back August. We head to back school. to September. Back we got to talk school. about school is right. And so I made some fun monthly goals all about back to school. Our first monthly goal, which we did accomplish this week, was a little fun back to school party with me and Nick. We'll have another 80s action movie night with myself and Nick. And then as we move forward, our next monthly goal will be me and Kevin do a PowerPoint. If you didn't know, I taught you all about woodpeckers and why they're pecking that wood in a fun PowerPoint presentation. This time we're going to do it for real. Me and Kevin will pick another fun topic. We'll hang out with all of you and we will tell you about something. We'll keep you in the know of what you want to know. And then after that, we have a really fun one because what's going to school without getting the lesson, right? And nothing's cooler than hanging out and playing video games with your friends. So Blessing is really loving fighting games right now. And of course, as many of you know, I love to shoutcast and host esports events. So I've teamed up with Blessing. We're going to host a Blessing at Ayoye Jr. kind of funny community fight night. We're going to host our first ever kind of funny games fighting game tournament. He's going to pick the game. We're going to invite all of you to come out here for a big tournament. He'll participate and host alongside me. And we will, we will have a fun little prize for the winner. And uh, it's just one of those things, as I've talked about with all of you before, as we move into 2022, a big initiative for me on this side for the Kind of Funny team will be more community play days, fun community tournaments where we're playing Halo, we're playing Battlefield, we're playing fighting game tournaments, we're playing Smash Bros, Mario Kart, ways to get all of you involved and hang out with us and have a fun afternoon spent together and of course selfishly allowed me to shout cast and host so you know take it as you like but after that our final big monthly goal at 25 monthly goals achieved this month we will have nick and andy sit down in the virtual classroom and they they will take the SATs live on camera for your enjoyment. We're going to be laughing. They're going to feel the pressure. They're going to feel the anxiety. They're going to be nervous. They're going to be embarrassed as we laugh our butts off as those two will take the SATs. So truly and honestly, we're working towards all of these goals 
through your support. So don't forget, a follow is totally free, and that will help fill up the bar. If you subscribe at the tier one through three level, that will help fill up the bar. If you, your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your dog walker, your favorite big boss replica super soldier snake and all of his eight homie brothers, if you guys got Amazon Prime, guess what? You got Prime Gaming, and you can subscribe totally for free right now to this channel or Maybe to the latest Twitch partner, our good friend Tamor Hussein's channel over there, because he's now a Twitch partner. But truly oh. and honestly, you get one free sub, you get to avoid ads, you get Twitch Prime gaming loot, and you get to have the Prime gaming free sub. So please use that up along with bit donations and normal donations. Truly and honestly, your support goes so far for us here. Every single dollar sub follow really, really helps us create something awesome here. Kind of funny because. Kind of funny is impossible without all of you, the incredible best friends. Whether you like watching the streams, you're watching the daily content with games, or the funny, kind of funny prime, it doesn't matter. You all support us, and it really, really means the world to us. Now, I've given you the rundown. That was a lot. Next week is going to be even more fun because on Monday, Barrett, can you tell me what the heck is going down Monday? Because I know you have been involved. I kind of, I was like, they were like, Mike, we don't need you. Barrett, you know we got something big going down on Monday. I believe it's Greg, the Avengers. Oh. What is happening? I was like, I, I don't know what's going on on Monday. I, like, I better tee him up a little more. Yeah, I've been kind of involved because, you know, I'm the social media co uh, coordinator, so I've been scheduling out a bunch of tweets. Yes, uh, over on twist, uh, twitch.tv slash Crystal Dynamics, we kind of funny are hosting the Avengers uh, War for Wakanda uh, War Table. They're going to be showing Ooh. off a bunch of gameplay, I think, the day before uh, uh, War for Wakanda comes out, because I think that's on the 17th or sometime next week. I might be wrong on that. Don't hold me to that. Uh, I, I, I personally don't pay attention to like when adventure stuff actually comes out. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Greg is hosting uh, with a, a fellow host, and they're going to break things down for y'all, interview uh, a bunch of the cast. Uh, we got a lot of uh, great cast members uh, coming up, like uh, Dave Filoni. Or, or oh. no, uh, Dave Fenoy, Dave Fenoy, not Filoni. Sorry, I, we just recorded Bad Bad Season 1 reviews, so I've got Dave Filoni on the, uh, on the mind. Dave Fenoy, so it'll be a nice uh, reunion with uh, Greg and Dave Fenoy. Yeah. Um, and so uh, it's going to be a fun time. Go check it out. It'll be after Kind of Funny Games Daily on Monday. And because of that, Kind of Funny Games Daily will be earlier on Monday. We will be running that from uh, 9 to roughly 10 uh, a.m. Pacific right here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games. And then after, we'll be hosting... Uh, uh, on our Twitch channel, that Avengers War for Wakanda stream. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really exciting stuff. Of course, Chris Judge will be there as well. That's yeah. the uh, voice of Kratos. You all know him. He's out there for the Black Panther content. Really, there was really a cool. poll on one of, it might have been during Games Daily yesterday. There was a poll somewhere. It was like, uh, how do you know Chris Judge? And it was like either like God of War or is like uh, he was in Stargate, right? Um, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I what is that? Is that? That's Stargate. Yeah, yeah. That's what. And it's I think I, I think I actually know. I think I actually know him from Stargate. I don't know why I watched Stargate back in the day. It wasn't like a show that I was like really into. Maybe it was like one of my babysitters was really into Star Stargate or some shit. But I remember, I remember him from back in the day. You ready for one? I'll, I'll give you a big poll right now. I know Chris Judge from one of my favorite games. Def Jam, yes, New York. Whoa, he was yes, -mob. thank you, Tam. <laughs> yes. so, if you didn't know, Kratos was in Def Jam, y'all. Just so you know, there's a little fun fact for you. I am, I am you. literally right next to me, like, no kidding. I'm currently holding my PS2 copy of Def Jam Fight for New York. I <laughs> Why are you holding it? Of, <laughs> oh, you know, because I always we keep my judge. copy of Def Jam close to my heart. Wow, Just bring that case. franchise back. Let's not talk about Icon too much. Yeah, bring yeah, back yeah. Def Jam. Vendetta, Fight for New York. So good. Bring it back, Tam. I mean, I have I have some of my PS2 games up along with my Xbox games here in the background. Oh, and yeah, Tam, I love having the EA big games. I love talking about that and love feeling that vibe. And man, bring them back. That seems just a, an easy cash grab. But man, oh man, we now have the Young King, the future class of video games. Blessing out of Yoye Jr. Now locked and loaded with us after the kind of funny games daily hosting and post show. So, Blessing, please come in, settle in. Just let me know if you're here, ready to oh, rock. I'm here. I'm settling yes. in. I'm ready to rock. I'm okay. very excited about this. Is this is this going to be a full stream of MGS2? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If they push the bar, are we going the full three hours with this? We're, That's we dependent on the stopping. chat. 
That's dependent on yep. the chat. Tell him, tell honestly, him, yep. we we're so close to hitting 15 extra minutes. I, whether we hit another hour, I'm not too sure. That's up we to the kids. Got stuff. They don't got oh, the stuff. I, 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 I thought you, you said Nano stuff. doesn't got the stuff, and I honestly Nano agree with that. Nano also doesn't got the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if I know anything about Nano is that he the stuff he doesn't got it. Guys, I'm so excited. We're about to we're about to start Metal Gear Solid, uh, or not start, but continue Metal Gear Solid to Sons of Liber uh, Sons of Liberty. I want to get a quick recap from Mike, but I'm not only excited yes. for that. I just also ordered lunch, and we're eating Ooh. some Panda Express today for lunch, and I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. Panda, I love that. What'd you get? Some orange chicken? Oh yeah, you got to go with the yeah, orange chicken. Orange. The, 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 orange. Mike, for a couple of years, they had the sweet fire chicken breast, and then they took it oh. off the menu, and that was like my other entree I would get. They took it off, and I'm like, damn, I, I guess I'm just going full orange chicken now. I'm an orange chicken guy. I'm a double orange chicken white rice guy. I'm very basic, basic. That's what they call me, blessing. I'm just a basic <laughs> B word. Okay, I'm a basic B word. Pumpkin Listen, spice latte, like, Ugg, sweatpants. I'm in. It sounds like Barrett uh, has bras in Atlanta. Oh, here we go. I'm going hold on. I, I turned off the gameplay for a second. I turned off the gameplay for a second because I want to go into is there a setting for uh pop up notifications, Mikey? Do we know? Pop up for notifications, meaning for the Xbox? Yes. Yes, you can find that in the settings. You can go over to notifications and turn them off. So that would be under perfect. Personal preferences, I believe. Preferences. Also, okay, everybody's saying go, the bar go. is broken. I don't know if that's them fucking with us because they yeah, don't want to pay the we, goods I, or if the bar is broken. Oh, uh, the bar I might you, be we, broken. We, we might have just <laughs> that bar in half. We will look at the bar in just a moment, y'all. I promise. But uh, as Barrett gets this ready, remember, we have Blessing. We have Tam, our two Metal Gear Solid experts. We have our two newbies, myself and Barrett. And it's always fun because we have an opportunity to recap and tell the story, to get all the inside dirt that we want to know. We want to learn more about Kojima and all the things he does. So every single time we start this, we'd like to have a little story recap from somebody. And I thought this time I'd like to take it over because I got lost in this story. I'm having too much fun. I'm in it. So I need everybody right now. I watched uh, a good Netflix one, uh, Blessing, just so you know. It was The Mouse in the Palace, if you don't remember. That was Indiana versus Detroit mm -hmm. when they had the big brawl in the basketball arena. And it was interesting because Ron Artest was going to see a therapist. And I, I really liked what he said there. He's like, my therapist taught me to just stand and count to five. You know what I mean? Just reset yourself, right? And so, long story, he lays on the scores cable. Somebody throws a beer at him while he's doing that. It's crazy. It's man. <laughs> but, it's, it's crazy. It's man. But we're going to count to five, and I'm going to give you all the story. So, everybody, take a deep breath with me. Need y'all shut your eyes and get lost in the story of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, really, hold on. Before we start this, oh, what yeah, is the that. starting health of the uh, bar? 100,000. 100,000. Thank you, Mikey. I've got I've got Kendrick Lamar in my head saying, everybody, everybody. Everybody. Everybody, everybody. sit your bitch ass down. Listen to this true <laughs> motherfucking story. No bike. No bike, Mike. I'm Rose Friends. Yeah, bitch. Okay. Give it Slow to tilt onto a rainy... New York City Bridge with our hero, Solid Snake, taking long drags of a deep Marlboro. As he starts to quicken his pace, bang! This man whips off his raincoat and free dives off the size of a bridge. I said, oh my God, is this man gonna call it quits? Is the pressure getting to him? No, Jabroni, he's attached to a bungee cord. He's free falling, and just when you thought it couldn't get cooler, this man turns on the invisibility. Now, shasha, he's invisible, falling on, to a large tanker boat. He lands. Ah! The rain gets into the invisibility. No more invisibility because who would have thought that cloak wasn't rainproof, y'all? After that, we get hit with the most incredible Metal Gear Solid music you could ask to date. The music score starts to rise. We pan down onto an epic shot of Snake in the Rain. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Right after that, Octagon calls me, says, Snake, I need you to get to the control room. I need you to tell me where this boat is going and you need to get down and take some photos of Metal Gear because guess what, everybody? Everybody in their mama now has got a Metal Gear and I don't know why, but they do. Guess who's running this boat? It's Revolver Ocelot himself. He's got two hands now and he's still as bad as before. And I'm thinking to myself, oh snap, are we gonna square up with this guy? Just as I thought I knew what was going down, Kojima hits me with the one-two punch. Swoosh! 
Russian helicopters fly in. They start dropping off the scariest of jabronis you could ever imagine. They got infrared goggles on and they're murking the boat crew. And I, when I say murdering, I mean slice your neck, toss you off the side of the boat murder, okay? Now, we got a three-way, y'all. It's me. It's the jabroni up in the, up in the control booth, Revolver Ocelot, and it's now a bunch of Russian soldiers led by this dude in a goofy Russian hat. Now, Solid Snake and his gosh darn dump truck ass shoved in there with two watermelons has to shimmy shake his way to the depths of the boat. We move, we stealth through, we get to the control center. Now, just when you thought, oh, our mission is complete, no, no, we look outside the window, there's this chick out there, she's on a phone call. She's like, guess what, the mission is complete. We're gonna seize Metal Gear. I'm like, oh snap, what the heck is this? Turns out this lady is the daughter of that crazy Russian leader with the weird hat, Gaspacho. Gaspacho's telling her, yo, you got a baby. You need to get off this boat, go to freedom in New York. She's like, dad, don't tell me what to do. He's like, you need to do this for the baby and for me. She says, nah, I'm down with the cause. I ain't going nowhere. She shoes off the helicopter that was gonna come pick her up. I come out, I'm like, freeze lady. She's like, what are you doing out here? He's like, yo, you got a big ass gun. Throw that thing off the, off the boat. She's like, all right, cool. She throws it off. Now Solid Snake and her are having the stare down. We're talking, right? She's got a giant knife. Snake's like, hey, here's what I want you to do, lady. Take that knife, whip it off the side of the boat now too. She pulls it out. She's playing games with my heart. I'm like, lady, are you gonna chuck this off the side of the boat? Guess what? She flips the thing sideways. A bullet comes out the back end of the knife. But guess what? Lady, this is a solid snake you're messing with. Matrix dodges the bullet. And now we're on to our first ever boss fight of Metal Gear Solid 2. We're on the side of the boat. Olga, this lady has two health bars. One for her, one for the baby. No, it's not for the baby, you jabroni. It's gosh darn it, her fatigue. You can knock her out because we got a Trank Dart gun, which is super dope. Or I can murder her if I want. We're not gonna murder this innocent lady with a baby. That's messed up. Don't do that, nanobiologist. So what we do, we Trank Dart her. I'm fighting her on the side of the boat. I'm behind some cover. She's behind some cover. All of a sudden, she's like, oh snap, Snake, you got the upper hand. She cuts a piece of the tarp to try to block my visibility. No, no, lady, this is Metal Gear Solid 2. Now I can stand on my tippy toes. Now I can shoulder shimmy shake, right? I move off the side of the tarp. The tarp flies off. She's like, oh snap, you caught me. Now I'm gonna turn on this giant light. I'm like, ah, I'm blinded. Guess what? Shoot out the light. Now I'm trank darting her. Bop, 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 bop. She falls asleep. Mission accomplished. Or so you thought, because now Octagon's like, yo, Mike, it's crazy out there. You need to stop this stuff. And I'm like, you're right, bro. Because Revolver Ocelot and Gaspacho, they up to some bad stuff right here. So now we got to get back through. We got to get down into the depths of this ship. We got to find the next Metal Gear and we got to put a stop to whatever the heck Gaspacho and Revolver Ocelot are doing. That's the story so far for Metal Gear Solid 2, as told by your boy Snowbike Mike. You need to do the recaps incredible. from here on out. Like I don't <laughs> like that was that was top that was tier. Amazing. A lot of people were uh, you know comparing it to Luis from uh, Ant Man, uh, which I, I think is very apt. I would love us to to reshoot everything that you just uh, just described <laughs> so we can make a funny version oh of God. everything that, that like, we just played. We need somebody, maybe Roger, to take the previous stream and just yeah side cut <laughs> it with everything to my guy's yeah. saying. That was that was top tier, Mike. I I. I I think we got everything, right? Like, that's pretty that much was, all we that know. That was everything. Yeah. All right. That was, all yeah. right. That was all inclusive. Like, you <laughs> really you. got Thank everything. I, I thought I got close. Now, there's a there's an issue, right? Because now we're back in the depths. I didn't tell y'all about us staring at cute girl photos and getting the mm. snake feeder uh, achievement, which was pretty epic. But, like, I believe this is where we're at, right, Tam? Is there anything yeah, more right. here? No. No, we haven't missed anything. Okay. We're in the lower decks of the tanker. We are in the lower de uh, decks. We just heard right at the very end of the stream, we heard um, like a call for like all of the uh, people to like come to like mm -hmm. some room, I think. Um, I'm gonna bring out my my, my, my my pistol here, my silenced weapon. Nice. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? What's going on here? Oh, here we go, here we go. Rations are full. We're looking good, Mikey. Oh, you're looking great, Mike. Or, uh, Barrett. Yeah, remember Barrett yeah, we as got, well. Uh, you we can get door stinky in this game if you want to. You can get stinky, <laughs> which we haven't we killed done the yet. We, we killed that. the stinky man, though. We, we straight yeah, up killed him. Done. He's dead. All right, there's a door here. 
But there's still flies around here. Uh, I can't go through here. That's where you head stinky man's body. Oh, no. No way, really? No, I no, don't think no. so. Okay, I was like, oh snap, we're on the other side? Just re, uh, figuring out the controls here. This is good, I like this caution. I mean... Look at the, look at the lighting, by the way. Yeah, the lighting is really impressive. Lighting in this area is super good. We're just gonna save just in case. I know we just started up, but like, now I'm nervous. Now I'm scared. <laughs> Especially with this music right now, Jesus. Snake, have you heard this one? Evil is human nature and his entire being falseness. The concept of so-called original sin, the idea that you're born bad, so you can't help doing bad things. Hold on. I thought the idea of original sin was that you had to work even harder at being good because you were born evil. Uh, well, yeah, that too. They're very good, Snake. <laughs> uh, that was a good, that was good a perfect that's the idea, That's man. the one that I will let them uh, talk through, and that's it. That's all I'm giving y'all. All you weird <laughs> Otacon fans out there, or as Mike likes to call them, Octagon, which Octagon. I fucking yeah. love. <laughs> all right, there's Octagon this dead man. <laughs> yeah, we got, we, got de we got dead crew members here now. Yep. So, Tam, really quick. These crew members, they're just, ex they're just, you know, like pawns essentially. Like even Revolver well, they're, they're, don't care about them. Well, they're, they, they were the crew members were part of the U.S. Marine. Remember, like they, mm -hmm. they weren't okay, even. Okay. Yeah. They're so not even part of Revolver Ocelot, yeah. correct? No, okay, they were okay. the, yeah, they were the original crew members working alongside the Marines. Oh, okay, okay. Look at that look is right. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. Oh, shit. I'm scared, Mike. Who is this person at the end of the hallway? That's gotta be some- Oh, fuck, they're walking here. Oh, snap, you really can't see him. That's crazy, Bear, you're right. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, it doesn't matter now because you just Holy shot him in the face, bro. Holy shit. That, was that You shot that from probably really far away that in you didn't dark. need to do, but you did great, dude. You did great. That was terrifying. Well, he's got not cats, sure. too. He's not like those other jabronis. He's like Shabe Raven's mini brother or something. Jimmy and Chad is the hash leading <laughs> slasher. Shaved <laughs> Raven. Hash shinging bash finging dash Oh no, he just got camo on. He just got camo. Shout out I'm to that episode, Blessing. That's a top that five really episode. episode. Yeah, that's a fucking great episode right there. SpongeBob has a lot of classic episodes. Yes, sir. Bear, really quick, we got people saying game audio a little low, you a little loud. Could you okay. maybe mix that if you think so? Oh, never mind. Just murder this man funny first. Oh shit. What? Oh, they're jamming out over there. Oh, he <laughs> might be. You think he's got an iPod? It looks like he got the Gen 1 I'd iPod. Say run I mean, the first one was in 2005, you know? So oh, like... dang. Okay. Wow. The first iPod. 2005. Okay. All right. I brought game audio up a little bit, and I brought myself down a little bit. Let me know how that works for y'all, chat. We're, uh, audio is like slightly uh, wired slightly different today. The crusty crab pizza. Is the pizza for you and me? <laughs> yeah, he is jamming out. He's jamming out, Mikey. He's fucking getting it. He's listening to the Krusty Krab pizza song. Freeze. Oh. Nice. Shake that ass. Don't kill me. Kieran Keegan. Kieran Keegan. Turn the volume down next time, buddy. I bet that was the person in the office who was always on their, their earbuds. Yeah. Because that used to be me. I was that person.
I miss the iPod, man. I had an iPod up until 2018. Someone else over here, too. I need an update on my Panda Express. It's, was, it's, it's arriving soon. Ooh! Oh, man, it, people I, are just passed out. Yeah, he is. He is struggling. Chief Chaos in chat said they had a Zune. And Mocha Zune, Zune, bro. Zune. I had... Uh, I had... Is this? This is this. I had a creative zen. Dude, I don't know what that zen is. I've never heard of that is. Right. Yeah. The first iPod I got was the iPod Touch. Oh, he was already sleeping, and then you put him back to sleep again. Well, he he was he was doing bro. that kind of thing where you're on the airplane yeah. and like you're like oh yeah yeah kind of like uh, you're like kind of conscious but kind of sleeping. Yeah, he was the one that was saying nothing to report there. Yeah, He's like yeah, that's what there. I was. Uh, that's what I was wondering. I was like, I, I hope it's this guy. I hope there's no one else. You're getting in here. really good at the shakedown, bro. Thank you. Thank you you've, you've figured out the shakedown. Even though I like when you shake him down from the crotch up, I think it's a cooler look, but like still very it's solid. A cooler look. <laughs> now, in in 2018, the iPod I had was an iPod Classic. It was like, oh, a, it was like okay. A, okay. a 60 gigabyte so, that fat white brick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that brick. brick. Yeah, I love that. It was like Gen 5. Deck two I was just like, I, I just like, I was, I'm not getting a device that interfaces with iTunes, and also the creative stuff had like better sound quality, and the build quality was oh, really nice say? as well. Mm. Shout out to the creative See, the funny, fan. The funny, th funny thing is, like for me, I had it for that long because I was like, I'm not going to not have my music downloaded. You know the story. Like I, I'm not mm. gonna give up to, the, to these streaming services because I want to own my music, and then I realized <laughs> that Spotify was just way easier. Well, what you do is just you you buy a physical copy and then you don't have to you know like you're still supporting the artist and then just listen wherever you want. You See, know? I yeah. I, I still do I that. Limited space in my phone. So I do it. What I do is like I'll have if an album I like comes out or an album comes out that I'm into, like I'll stream it, but then I'll buy a novel version of it. As in, like I usually buy the vinyl. I don't have a vinyl player. Oh, okay. I just, yeah. I got it. I, yeah, no, no, I got I just, the I got the yeah. Childish Gambino because the internet. Vinyl. Oh, yeah, like I have no way to play because, that thing. Because then you can like put it up somewhere or like display it really nicely, yeah. and it and it doesn't quite work for CD. CDs could kind of kind of lame when you leave them around, um, but a nice vinyl, real good. Frame yeah. that bad boy up. I got a bunch of CDs that I don't know what to do with. Like I should probably just get rid of them because I can't display them. I can't like they're just taking up space. Really, I'm not gonna play them ever. Yeah, just frisbee them out of a window. Yeah. Now, kind of in concept here, I've just been going in a big circle. Yeah, that's a, a massive really big boat. circle. Massive boat. Uh oh. Like oh, oh shit. Freaky circle. <laughs> it's not like a normal circle. It's like a it's like a freaky circle. Freaky circle. God. That was good, Barry. That was really good. Best character in the MCU. Yep. Oh fuck, dude. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, fuck. Okay, first time running into a, a pack of dudes. Street Shadow 8, thank you so much for the subs. Colonel, we have sealed the stern hatch. Right. The lift is also under our control. The Marine Commander has started his speech already. Oh, fuck. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Fuck. So there's a still a bunch of Marine uh, jabronis on this ship, too. Yes, sir. We they haven't gotten to. We will exit with our lives mm -hmm. if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. She's oh, already knocked the fuck out, dude. Yeah, she's out. Yeah, she's taking a little nap. She's got hypothermia. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like, Snake is here. That would have been yeah, a way cool that, that, like, that would have been like, oh shit. Snake is here, y'all. Be ready. You know what else is here? My food. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, he saw you. Oh, it's on. Oh, snap. Oh, God. Oh, God. They quit my gun. God damn it. <laughs> Great shooting. Great shot, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, there's even, oh my god, there's a lot going on here. The alarm's on. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> nice call, Barrett. Way to be quick on that. Oh snap. Oh. Oh. How far did he throw that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty far. He needed that thing. Oh, wow. How good is this music? It's yeah, so I, oh my. And it's so good that I went on the Spotify last night and typed in Metal Gear Solid 2. And they don't have like a bull. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alrighty oh then. They just don't fucking. Yeah, they pulled it's on, bro. It's on, dude. It's on. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, bro. He's just popping off. <laughs> He's like, I'm not stuck Ooh. in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I remember that going on for way longer. God, he's so cool. He's like, I'm gonna do that. I thought we were about to get to like a really scary boss fight, Mike. Oh shit, someone's behind him. Did you see at the end there, you shot the pipe and the steam came out of it? You can use that to your advantage Ooh, in that section. That's a good point, that's a good point. How did someone yeah, sneak behind? Oh God. Oh, something's in here, Mike. Oh We're no! In the Something's We're in, the in there, dude. That's a smart move. Who goes there? Oh snap! He's got cowboy boots. That's the man. It's got to be Osla, right? Yeah. Oh, Chalashaska. Chalashaska. Why are you oh, here? Oh shit! No. We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Wow, okay. Oh, okay. he like, really locked him in here. The Colonel will be joining you soon, comrade. Double turn, double twist, twist. He don't even <laughs> care about that jabroni. <laughs> Wait, so his real name is Solashka? Shalashashka. It's Amy. Yeah. It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. What a life, not the beach. Okay, Snake, let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Okay. Just let okay. someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. Why would they so clearly label it? All though? right. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission years. for now. <laughs> what I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. How does he know that? I hitched a ride on Link 16 at the U.S. military's proprietary network. 
Managed to get into that workstation and overwrote a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> My god, out of god! Speech. But you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, oh. they'll spot you, okay? Oh, yeah, because like once he's done with the speech, move. they're going to start... I yeah, fuck it. All right. ...and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. Oh, god. A seven-minute time limit, huh? It's Greg Miller. Remember, yeah, Snake, minutes. just the photo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's going to be there for a while. He'll be fine. Unless, like unless, he's, yeah, unless he's drank a Bustani, in which case you've got 45 minutes. Okay, but first the photos. All right. We'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. All right. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirates. So pause it real quick. Just to give you a, a kind of recap on Ocelot at this stage. So Ocelot was originally in Shadow Moses aligned with Liquid. Right. And yes. their plan was to... Uh, some aspect of the plan was to give Metal Gear to Golukovich. Um, right, who is Russians, this guy who is uh, yeah, yeah, the Russians who are taking over dad, this so okay. he's here, yeah. But then Liquid was like, fuck that. Uh, we are going to set up our own thing. Right. And then and we're going to fight the world because we're going to hold the world. our ground here in Alaska. And yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And, okay. and Ocelot was like, mm hmm, uh huh, mm hmm. That's whatever you're talking about for you. But then at the end of the game, we learned that he was actually a double agent working for, for the president. The president who's okay. solid as snake. Right. So at, at this stage, he is on the tanker dressed in Golukovich's uniform. Right. Aligned with Golukovich, but. As we know, yeah, he's he's work, he's, know, he's still he's working, working for the U.S. government, you know. So he's yeah, just to keep track of where he's okay, at currently. okay, yeah. Thank you, because it is like I was like, wait, how do they know him? And yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Good, thank you for that recap. Hold on, I need to go to the restroom really quick again, and then I also uh, got my Panda Express here, Mikey. So talk to the okay. chat. Ooh, to in, in, in the meantime, in, in the meantime, uh, Snowback Mike. The yes, voice of Solid Snake. How familiar are you with David Hayer, young David Hayer? So I, I have no relation to him besides just the name. I've heard the name a lot so from this Greg man, and stuff, so I don't know anything else. This man, a legend. A certified legend, okay. legend. Not only because he is the voice of Solid Snake. One of the, he's the voice of Snake. Okay. The greatest video game character of all time. Woo! This man, he also played Guyver. Are you familiar with Guyver? MacGyver. No, you're familiar with MacGyver. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about Guyver, Bio Boosted Armor, which is like based on a classic, classic um, Viz Media property. There was okay. a live action version of it. He played the live action version of Guyver. This okay. man co wrote the film X Men. Oh, so the what? X Men movie, he wrote that. Really? X Men 2. Uh, he, he wrote X Men 2 and Zack Snyder's uh, Watchmen. So he, wow. in, in the background, um he's been doing that stuff he's well, this guy's in terms, talented okay yes so he's been he's done voice work in street fighter 2 v which is a okay. animated a series based on street fighter 2 the best uh animated series in street fighter he's been in uh yu yu Hakusho, the movie um which i'm sure uh, okay. uh blessing will be up for he was in the castle of cagliostro he played arsene lupin the third which is a legend that, that film is yeah seen that he voiced uh, captain america in the spider-man animated show for eight episodes wow obviously uh he's also been in obviously all of the metal gear games but he was in um republic he was in bloodstained he's been in yakuza like a dragon uh holy he, snap Yep, he was in uh, Scorpion King. Um, so basically, this dude is a... He's in the a, Scorpion King? Yeah, he's... Oh, he, I love Scorpion King. I He wrote Scorpion King. Um, oh, he had a part in it, um, but he's very much aware... He's a writer on it, but he's very much aware that the movie Who are we talking straight. about? Booty. David Hayter. David Hayter. Oh. 
uh, our good friend Jeff Grubb says he's actually the most interesting man in the world, which I yeah, can he's believe incredible. by that. I can believe he's by incredible. That. I've I've wow. uh, repeat I've like I've used my uh, I've repeatedly followed him and unfollowed him on Twitter, and he just will not follow me back. <laughs> I love when Trash you do that, Sam. I love when Trash you do that. Trash human. <laughs> Who's the other person that you did that to? Uh, who did I do that to? I can't remember. Who it was. About? I don't remember who it was. That's really funny. <laughs> I oh do, yeah, gosh. I do. I do it to some people for funsies. <laughs> I'm gonna start trying that. I'm gonna start doing that. Cause like you know, you know, you appear in their verified notifications. Yeah, yeah. Austin Creed was Xavier yeah. Woods. Yeah, it was, it was Xavier awesome. Woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He still hasn't followed me. <laughs> still hasn't followed you? Oh no! <laughs> no, I, I give him a follow and unfollow every now and then, just for funsies. I, right now, say tap. Do not. Do that. That is do it. In the fucking world, and there's like probably ten people that do it to me constantly. And I'm like, See, I do not respect you, and it makes me. You know, here's the thing, Tim. I will only do it to people that I know that are getting so many like notifications. They're not even looking at this. Yeah. I, like, there's no I'm fucking way. You, no, that's not how it works because you're terrified, Tam. <laughs> That check mark <laughs> is a fucking great power, great responsibility, and you're supposed to say, be the best of us. I, I will say I don't do it constantly. I'm over, over. I'm hyper. I'm being hyperbolic about it. I'll do it like maybe. It, what I do is I never want to go over a thousand uh, follows, people I'm following. So what I'll do is like if I'm at like 990, I'll be like, oh, I can add a couple of people, and like one or two times, like every couple months, I'll be like, oh, I'll try. I'll follow David Hater again, or, or like. <laughs> Or, or I'll unfollow them and then someone retweets something from Austin Creed. Now I'll be like, oh, I like Austin. And then I'll follow him. And then eventually I'll end up going above a thousand. And I'll be like, I need to get someone off. And it oh is usually God. someone famous. Yeah. It's always someone famous. I'm like, they're not going to follow me. I'll unfollow gotta them. Cut you. <laughs> gotta, I got to cut you. Yeah. Oh, I love man. the doubling down, Tim. I'm also going to guess. Because I figure I got to be sneaky, sneaky here. I could probably like walk back here but if i walked across like in front of the projector they would all turn around right oh good call there good call mm, interesting interesting there's a lot of pressure from baby brass especially oh, shout out to Tim as well. keeping me honest not to mention interference from a major player but this project is vital to the marine do you want to hear something wild the enemy is what closer to no, home you, think, you see these folks standing around that in mind. they have dog tags that you can collect all of them? This weapon will uh, a, a few of them. Oh, okay, okay. Wow. The experience of getting those dog tags? <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> it, it, no, it, is, it was fun, but it was like the tension. You need to hold these people up while they're surrounded <laughs> by other people, and it is a lot. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Keep Thank you, out. right there. Ours is not the only military project to to Thank you, Art. They commit to clutch for the subs and the resubs. Filling up that bar right now, almost one fourth of the way. We had a little reset, but the bar is back on, ready to go, y'all. And I, I put it at uh, seventy-five thousand, Mike, to, okay, uh, to account of all, for all those gifted subs. There you go, y'all. So the uh, the health is down. I'm not gonna lie, when the EEE -E -E happened, I thought it was coming from the game. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what's going on? I don't remember this. <laughs> Just a random marine soldier. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Is that Lance Reddick? Metal Gear Ray it does sound like him, does it? It sounds weirdly <laughs> like him. <laughs> but I don't know, like, when he, like, was he. Doing voice acting back nah, in 2001? Nah, he wasn't. He wasn't doing it. No. Whoo, baby! It's on board joint what the fuck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh no. I thought it was just that, like. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which side of the oh, fucking room am I supposed to look at? Uh, look to. Just keep an eye on the projector, baby. Longer than expected. At ease. Rest a little.
Oh god. This sucks. <laughs> Look at these jabronis. There's a projector screen. There we go. This oh, darkness. This codenamed Ray, after the great mantle. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the mantle. The Great Manta Ray. The Great Manta Ray is a dull fly. Sea and land is wild. Unlike Rex, that the armies have. Like, it's a thing to jot down. We gotta do rank the Metal Gear. George oh, man. George surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. Got it. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex, the next generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover-up cost of his influence in the political community. Nice job. You're doing great. You're doing You're great. great. Look at that booty. Yeah. Oh, man. Big Yo. Red, thank you. It's <laughs> my best contribution. It's incredible. It was unforgettable. What a great time that was. There it is. Look at that beauty. The Ray, bro. Oh, my favorite Metal Gear. Oh, man. We already know Tam's ranking. Oh, oh okay. mate. This, this, this Metal Gear makes... Oh, shit. Um, They're pitch, still I in this room. I pitch a every time I Metal see this Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> the Metal Gear Rex development on Holy Shadow Moses is supposedly the first preparatory oh, measure God. taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go take a photo uh, of the thing that all these people are staring at. It's awesome, bro. I love it. But if this theory is correct, it means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity. Oh, gotta find that leg, right? What is it, an arm or a leg? You gotta have the one that says the Marines on it. Rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. Oh it my Jesus! Fact that there is a wow, oh, you went for that it. was in massive. The Great job, homie. Oh God damn it! Oh, <laughs> bow, bow, bow. <laughs> he fit just into a fight. He went for it. Oh, he dude. He went for it. <laughs> God, I mean, I love that energy, Barrett. Barrett. I love that. What for a you. great pull, Barrett. Yep. God, that sound effect. Murdered an innocent, innocent dude. I don't. Well, I mean, we're murdering all left. I don't know if like the U.S. military right. can be considered innocent, but that's just me. <laughs> uh, did they restart us now, Tim? Like you said, a checkpoint here in the actual room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's helpful. There was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity. By specific interests within the military industrial complex. We are here today yeah, he's like, oh, I'm sleepy already. Our country of these corrupting Step forces. over his body. Oh, okay. I gotta get what is it's uh okay, 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 hold on. No, no, don't go, don't leave this area. Uh, to your left. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, here we go. There it is. That's the money shot, y'all. That's what we came here for. We're going to so bring got, down the U.S. government, y'all. You've got the logo, and you've got front right. Yeah. So you need middle, straight on, and then... Bear, you're insane, bro. You're insane. I was going to say, Barry. Holy Jesus, Bear. I got I like two it. minutes left, guys. This is good. This is good. In our government and within the military. Seeking to control national affairs to suit its own interests, Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party, thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. God, one day I hope to be able to write with the fifth this of a level <laughs> of talent as Hideo Kojima. Mm. I'm obsessed the with the species country. of characters given the game. With you. Hideo Kojima and Tomokazu Fukushima as well. He's writing part on it. and Star obsolete. There are also forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. The human race is about to slide back into the I'm impressed that he wrote a full five minute speech here. And we cannot afford The script for this game was 800 yeah, like, pages. Like, somebody wrote all of this, and it's just gone on. It has not repeated. Nothing has happened. 
Oh snap! He oh snap! Oh snap! Well, that went down like that. <laughs> went down like that. Snake. Oh respond. man. Snake. Snake. I love the little detail of everyone in the room turning around to look at yes, him. Yes, that was awesome. Did it really miss? I thought he shot him in the back of the head or something. No, you shot him and he fell asleep I woke him and up. you bumped into him. Yeah. Oh, is that what happened? You bumped into him, okay. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. If this theory is correct, means that there was a calculated intent I gotta figure out how to get in front of him without being seen. I just don't know how to do that. In the military industrial complex. We are here today Could you get to between the two cameramen on the back wall? Maybe. We'll figure that it out. We'll figure mission. it out. We're gonna do it. We're gonna figure it out, y'all. You will bear that in mind. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. Can you imagine the kind of leg workout that dude is getting by like being asleep and gently swaying back and forth <laughs> and staying <laughs> on his feet? Especially it's incredible. Good. Oh, someone uh, was saying I don't need to retake the photos. Yeah, you don't. Okay. You don't need to redo these photos. You oh shit! The, okay, uh, I just need the front one. Oh then. wow, that's impressive. Okay. Yeah. Chalk it up to old age. Ah, ah, you made a trip. Now that's dope. It is an dope. undeniable fact that there is a force at work in our government. Kojima was like, "No, even I can write a full speech." I'm just going to no, repeat. Okay. <laughs> to control national affairs to suit its own interests, Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of confronting this party. Thwarting their plans and guiding this nation back to its original path. This exercise is but a first step towards that goal. The future. Now you know why they call him Snake. Rests with you. No way, Tam, because he'd be crawling all the time for real, for real. Yep. That's pretty. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I mean, he's called Snake because there's a character that he references. There are forces at work trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own. That's big. Good. That's big, bro. It's huge. <laughs> they don't notice the thing. Now he's at the yeah, southeast corner. Is that actually yeah, southeast on the mini map or what? We cannot yeah, the right hand side. You already went past it. Okay. The metal gear where you see is here to prevent. I like this. this really I like this backwards one. Yeah, this is dope. There we go. It must be tense. Let's go a little stretcher, shall we? Oh no. Left. Oh wow, there's the computer in the thing, dude. Down. Oh god. Does he have to hit that computer? Yeah, that's the computer. Front. Left. What's up? Oh, it's because they're moving. Okay, I didn't yeah, know. I don't, right. I don't want to like right. go out. Yep. They're doing neck stretches. Down. Will I see that far? I don't know. You Are they really okay. doing neck stretches? That's yeah, awesome. yeah. He said he said you you will look a bit stiff. Yeah. So he's Let's doing neck stretches. With his, the timer oh, paused. I love though. the timer being paused. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's Front. I never noticed that. You can just use a computer. They won't see you. Okay. Getting back to the top of your head. That's so fucking good. This Metal Gear Ray is a prototype designed to. Be Uh, I had a replica of this OS as a theme on my Windows XP. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> Every part of it, everything you're about to see was on my version of Windows. Jesus. Who's trying to log Damn, in right now? That is the nerdiest thing you could have said. That's like on the <laughs> level of people uh, downloading the text app. That's the same text app from Persona 5. So I, I, I did that as like well. That. I did God, that as well. I love that. I love that. Dude, we're like straight up just loading into a computer. That's all. <laughs> we're going through the whole sequence. This was, Sprite I replaced my Windows XP logo boot up with that. So. Any codec moments from you, Snake? That was on my the PC first one as well. I've seen is... <laughs> okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. 
Wow, check out Octagon over here, bro. This Next guy, up is... he's incredible. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. The next ones... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Next up is... We have the shot from the right covered already. You didn't need to take another one. Well, get out of our face. Well, I mean, all right. I didn't know that uh, <laughs> photos would save over in Otacon's different so playthroughs. All right, hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Fuck off, Otacon. I honestly think that's, like, that's a better like, shot than the first Otacon. one. Okay, this works. Jesus, it's a dude. great front view. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. Okay, time to Shit, dip. where am I supposed to go? We'll lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Rain. That is all. Dismissed. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver Ocelot. Spaghetti cinema. Because he's kind of like a cowboy Mike, and it's like a spaghetti western almost, Love it. you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll explain that afterwards. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. The other jabroni. Let's go spot show. How did he just like randomly end he up? He looks there? a lot younger too. Good for him. The Lukovich. Nobody move. Understood. He just appeared out of nowhere though. <sighs> He's the Russian Shadow. That's his nickname. These people are literally in the other room. You could just, you know, I don't think the doors are locked. You just go in. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Taking it. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not if you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? 
Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot, you have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovic. Are you still in league with Solidus? Oh shit, he knew. No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Damn, dude. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Well, he don't like that. Metal Gear only has room for one! Oh, damn. Gerlukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Oh, snap! Damn you! I love this. Guy. Why doesn't just like one of Gerlukovich's men shoot Jocelyn while well, he was doing that whole monologue? and you can even look. Also, I like how someone yesterday was like, man, the the villains are the Russians. Wow, this game is so pro-American. It's like, yeah, I don't think that's how it's gonna go, buddy. <laughs> Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust God. God damn. That's how you use slow-mo, Zach. Sparingly. Ooh, ooh. Oh, now he's just murdering everybody on the boat? Oh no, the Marines are still there just standing there and ah, what are they even doing? Oh, well, one Marine's moving. You're gonna die now. Oh, where'd he put that gun? Holster on the back. In his trousers. Up his, his mustache. Butt. Oh, look at that sweet mustache. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. That's why they didn't shoot him. He got the bomb and oh, he just blew it up. Shit, dude. That man gives no fucks. That even the bomb while he was on the ship. Damn, this guy's wild, bro, is right. If he's gonna get a metal gear. Run through that water, snake. Right now, you got to be a liquid snake. Oh, you can feel it. A ball to Brownie, you already made it up there. It's been a while, brother. <laughs> oh, Get out shit! Of here! You know who I am. <laughs> Why was he pretending to be Ocelot? Holy shit. Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? Or, Tamor, I need you to come to the waiting room. You're drowning in time. Okay. See, I know what it's okay. like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Ah, my hand! Oh! Get out of my, my mind, liquid! Oh, fuck! Oh, so he wouldn't disguise as Ocelot. He's, like, taken over Ocelot's brain? Price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late fifties when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. What? Look what's on. Ah! 
So this is like that Simpsons episode where uh, Homer takes the man's hair, who's like the serial killer, because he like transplanted onto his head. He also turns into a serial killer. Like his his personality takes over Homer's body. I'm assuming that's what's happening, because Ocelot didn't have an arm, and then he got it replaced, I guess, with Liquid's arm, and now Liquid's taking over Ocelot's body. That's my best guess, Mike. Yeah, I'm loving it. Oh, he's in this thing. Dad. Hell yeah. God, I love this game. You don't have what it takes after all! You're going down, Snake, with this tanker! Ooh. Come on, y'all should know that you just can't take it down with just a gun. Good time. Oh, there's the grenade, yeah. Not enough, Mikey. We needed like a yeah, we needed like a rocket down. launcher for the first game, you know? Yeah. And that was the first iteration, or one of the that was an earlier iteration of Metal Gear. This music is so high. Bulldozer was in their bag. Yeah, he's definitely in the Duffy. Harry Gregson Williams. Danny says we need chefs. Oh, we got chaff grenades. Otacon, we have a problem. Josh Makuga. What up, McCoogs? I thought he was about to eat those men for some reason. Suck up the water and then spit it out at such a force yeah. that it cut up open the metal. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Snake. Ain't the ray, baby. It's the ray, bro. It's the ray. It's the ray. Snake. Everybody loves Raymond. Hydro laser. God. <laughs> God damn, dude. Look at all them dead people. Yeah. It might be spot on in terms of this big the Metal you, Gear model. It is the best Metal Gear model. I had, I had one in mind from a future game, but to re experience it with, yeah, this thing was fucking dope. It's about to get even more dope. Proceeding as planned, sir. So is that Ocelot talking, or is that liquid? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That was also on trophy. That was a little fallout to Evangelion.
Well, there goes the boat, y'all. I've heard Read about that Evan, that Evan Galleon yes. and uh, his, I have his stories. Evidence of snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Oh shit! Are they about to make us the fall guy? Mm -hmm. By the way, it looks like this stream might not go uh, that long since folks aren't donating to the to the bar. Yeah, oh, like we only we only I have thirty seven minutes left uh, in the stream, but we could go, you know, or actually we already hit the fifteen. Yeah, so we have about forty five minutes. No, we have. Yeah, about an hour left. We're at, uh, we're at an hour twelve right now. Yeah, we're gonna hit. Uh, we we'll have we have one full hour remaining on this stream. We can make it another hour and forty five with your support. Remember, if you want to fill up the bar, you can do it with the follows totally for free. Hold on, hold on, hold on. on. Scientists had to make Ooh. thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its, its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II, grew up together. Information aid to people. Oh goddamn. Snake, People, you information, and technology of that tanker two years ago. Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude, barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your Reckon classic voice? nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time, but in the meantime, it's the one jabroni from the last time. Yeah, that's, Cam that that's uh, Campbell, right? God damn, this is a time jump then. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. So we just, we, we sprang up from a little over 15 extra minutes to now a little over 45 extra minutes. Yeah, chat came through. Chat yeah. really came through. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Uh, see, Portion Zero Zero. Eric Noble, Street Shadow, Gohan Khan, Chewbacca 1313, Mean Gar, uh, Steven in chat. Thank you guys so much for the gifted subs. You guys killed it. We still got a, we still got a little bit left to go. If we want to go the full hour, we have we have turned it into emote only chat because people are being a little too cheeky with spoilers. So chat, be cool. Thirty billion dollars. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell oh, it's, day. it's Revolver Hostages, Ocelot huh? slash a VIP from one of the Liquid Snake? Groups, and one from our own or is that... The most important oh, good call with the hair. The most yeah? Important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. A lot going on. I hate how realistic that is, though. <laughs> yep. Infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. 
What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the back button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the back button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects We're going the full hour, range boys. of toxic substances. Let's the suit go. itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, Fire is exchanged sale. between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. It weirdly looks like, um, Psycho Mantis's, uh, mask. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. As you process that, I do want to uh, give a thank you to Cambosa. Uh, yeah, let's get, let's partner. thank all the subs. Uh, thank y'all for everybody who's been subbing. Yeah, Ramirez in chat. Uh, let's play PSX. Uh, all those people gifted at least five gifted subs, uh, bringing us to over the hour. So shout out to all those folks. Bear, where's your mind at? Yeah, tell us what questions. Do what you are you have? thinking? <laughs> So we're playing as somebody else because I thought, like, you know, I thought, you know, uh, uh, Solid Snake was uh, back uh, hanging out with Campbell after a couple of years of that uh, that uh, mess with Metal Gear uh, Ray. I mm -hmm. thought it was like a couple of years later, and for some reason we're back uh, with uh, Foxhound and all this stuff. But then at the same time, we're hearing that communication. We see this person swimming underwater. They've got long blonde hair, and I'm assuming like, oh, we're listening to this conversation, but at the same time, maybe seeing what like Ocelot is up to and stuff like, or yeah, Ocelot's up to. We're not playing a solid snake anymore, Mike. I, you're riding. It's a dope nickname in the skull suit. I'm truly blown away. I have no idea what's happening now. I'm kind of, I'm a little lost, but I'm excited to see what's going on. I want to know what's up with my dude Snake. <laughs> like, I'm attached to Snake. I'm a little uptight that this isn't Snake, but I look forward to <laughs> now uncovering, you know, what's happening here because we just took a hard leap. That guy <laughs> stole Metal Gear freaking back swan dove off of it and was like hey i'm bringing you the metal gear president and then we ended and they were like guess what y'all you know there's a lot of crude oil out there in the harbor we built this giant you know big shell thing that's a decontamination center and the terrorists now want to blow it up and now we're in here with some new yeah, yeah so uh, what, they they want something from the president again is uh, they just want the metal gear and if they don't get it they'll they're gonna blow up this uh big shell is that it's is that what it was yeah, so the thing that you need to know yeah. is the president is on this facility. There was a VIP tour of this offshore okay. facility. It's like an offshore mine, crude oil mining facility. The president is on it. Terrorists have taken over it and are holding the president hostage. Gotcha. You, are they called Dead you, Cell? Dead yeah, Cell? Call, uh, the terrorist group is called Dead Cell. Okay. You are... The, the SEAL team is infiltrating to get the pre rescue the president. Get the president, and then we're... Separately from that, yeah. you are a member of Foxhound, mm -hmm. um, which is the group uh, that you may remember from the first game that Snake belonged to right. or was part of, yeah. along with Roy Campbell. And you are 
um, separately infiltrating to do the same thing and rescue the president and take out the terrorists. Okay. So we're essentially sending in, quote unquote, two teams essentially to help ensure that this happens is like what basically, I'm putting together. Yeah. Basically, you are you are a there's the official team mm -hmm. and then you are the operative they send in as like a this is off the books, our special, okay, you know, our books. secret agent. So this is a new kid then. This is a this is uh this is Raiden. We mean we mean I feel like it was Fox a little now. too convenient Yo. that like we call him Snake at first and then like all right, we need to change your name at the very beginning of this mission. I feel like that was that should have probably been a conversation before this mission. Yeah. But I'm in for it. I don't know who this man is. He's got very thick thighs, and I'm excited to see. And this, and, and just to be clear, this is two years after the uh, what mm -hmm. we just watched. Oh, really? Incident. Two years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, so a lot of time has passed in the tanker incident. The other thing that you need to know is he okay. mentioned that he'd done like uh, hundreds of VR missions. Yeah. So v VR missions were something that were included in the original game as a side thing. Oh. But it was very much like a it was like a simulation where you'd run snake through these little challenges where it was like run from A to B, but there's like enemies in the way. And it was like designed to basically train snake to be the best stealth operative. Okay. So what he's referenced there is basically they took a side gameplay mode from the first game and built it into the narrative where Raiden has been through that as well. Wow. And that qualifies him to be a secret operative or a, a and they, an they brought up the time. VR missions earlier too, because the, when we were playing as Snake earlier, someone was on, like, uh, it was either uh, Googlevich or whatever his name was. They were saying mm -hmm. something of, like, uh, they did the VR mission, so they need to do this or whatever. Yeah, so VR is a common, in this world, it's a common method to train soldiers. Okay, okay. That's, that's basically all you need to know. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, this has been great, Aaron. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody for helping fill up the bar. We're going to go for that extra hour. We're currently at an hour and 23 minutes. So we got about 97 minutes mi minutes left. On this I got it on Friday my stream. We, are, we're, we started we're at an hour. Uh, we're an hour and 21 minutes in. So, yeah, Ooh, we got we got about an hour. More time, like, yeah. Hour 39. Yeah. We can probably take off the emote, emote chat, by the way, now. We're probably good. Yeah, let it ride. Let it ride. Let's hear the people. Go wild, chat. I want him to oh. take off his... Oh. Oh, that's, okay, that's wild. Freaky. That's freaky looking. The that's other freaky. thing, the other thing I was going to mention, more of a trivia thing, is the spaghetti achievement. The spaghetti yeah, the achievement. spaghetti cinema. Yeah, the, the obvious, the obvious thing is obviously he looks like a cowboy. Right. Uh, Revolver Ocelot is actually majorly inspired by an actor called Lee Van Cleef, who basically okay. is a spaghetti western actor, legendary spaghetti western actor. He is like. He was in very a lot of Clint Eastwood's movies. Oh. He was in uh, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and I believe uh, For a Few Dollars More, uh, as well as a bunch of others. If you look at him in those movies, his the way he acts and his some of his visual aesthetic is what um, inspired Revolver Ocelot. So that's why they make that reference to Spaghetti Western. Gotcha. I don't like all these bugs on this wall, Mikey. I'm going to be honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I don't... I think it's weird, Mikey, and I feel like it's going to tie into the story. Like, this man's mask, his water-breathing mask, looks a lot like uh, Psycho I mean, Mantis. Excited. I want to I want to know more about Foxhound. I want to meet more of the members there. This is dope that we're, we're learning about this. Now, this man so actually has booty cake. Oh, he's oh, got shit. some cake? Oh, booty what cake. the hell is going on over there? Oh, he don't look good. So you missed it earlier, but when... Hold on. Oh, here it is. What is happening? Okay, okay. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They've become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. So when you first uh, arrived in this part of the, um, the game, when it cut back to the game from the codec. Uh -huh. You missed it because we were talking and it's hard to tell, but you could actually hear the sound of someone being punched 
and kick mm. and then being knocked out. Oh sh So you just you just missed someone beating up that guard. It's gotta be SEAL team then. Or mm -hmm. is it someone else? What do you think, Mikey? Who do you think? Uh, I mean, I'm excited to go choke that man out, to be honest with you. We'll, 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 we'll snap his neck. This. We'll snap his neck. Don't worry. God, this guy looks dope right now. I love his outfit. Yeah, yeah it's the a great mask outfit. and the outfit is very cool. I want him to take I want him to take off. The, oh, shit. More. Pe oh, shit. <gasps> hey, that's got to that be. Dude? Oh, that's him. That's him. Oh, yeah. I know that dump truck ass from a mile away. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> no, nah, I'm on team riding butt right here. That's what I'm saying. Colonel. There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. <laughs> Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals Is he just explaining the mini-map right now? Reports. We need to get mm -hmm. to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical in use. Okay. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. The way that music comes in though. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, with the di with the okay. Right, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. Mm -hmm. The owner okay. enters their okay. required user ID information during the <coughs> weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these wow. are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs here? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. Basically just explaining away why you can't pick up anyone's gun. Yeah. yeah. Given how advanced the rest <clears throat> of this game is. Oh, jeez. Um, we need a fucking... Wait. I mean, it's if, if we're doing you, it's Sad Boy. Or if you want to just type in this jabroni's name, that's yeah, good, we'll too. That. By the way, for folks who are watching on Discord, is the stream choppy to you guys, or is it just me? Looking good right now, blessing, on my side. Okay, let me unwatch it, then watch the end. Oh, what's this dude's birthday? Five seven. Oh, two three. I like that two three. Nationality. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> you make him Nigerian. Don't be a coward. 
What is happening like here? Man. What is going on? I don't know you what we're doing. Every country, mate. Every country is in here. Irish, what? let's go. We've got an Irish riding. So we're making our own ride and we get to make who this jabroni is? You're basically giving him a a kind of personal identification so he can log into the nodes whenever he wants to. And it also doubles up as like a an options menu, basically. Radar appears even during intrusion view. What's it? Is, is intrusion view first person? You want type two. So okay. when you get caught, the way the radar has been since you started playing. Okay. Radar. Blood on. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, real time cutscenes. Yeah, captions on. It's like first person view control type. These are all just pretty much okay. Yeah, that's all default. Okay. Yeah. They're they're awake again. They're awake. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are My your My question enemies, though is like the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Why? Your radar isn't affected by the why is this happening? Why, yeah, why are we getting tutorial yet? <laughs> is, is it because it's it just Jabroni's first ever afraid. mission and they feel like that's how we should it's build this up story-wise? Mm -hmm. You won't be able to use it in an area with crazy strong that, harmonic that, like, so be careful. All I'll say is, all I'll say is layout maps every reaction touching and every question you've had is exactly according to Kojima's plan. Okay. All right. Kojima, he's got big brains. That dude's got big brains. I like this Jabroni. After one and a half games, I like this Jabroni. His real name's Jack. Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. Jack and Rose. That's Titanic, right? Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll that be was overseeing a great, the data great saving and support. Mike. Thank you. <laughs> the Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? Not only that, it's the, exactly the, the same reaction we all had back in 2001. I get why people are comparing to the, the uh, service, to the Last of Us Part 2 now. But an analyst is no field officer. I think. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack... You're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. <laughs> After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, Titanic that I am not four years required before this to follow movie. your orders outside Kojima of my was in the middle of writing duties. the first game while watching Jack Titanic. He was like, field personnel for me to fuck. Yeah. His safety comes Name first some characters, me, Jack and Rose. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, you call sir. him that. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn. Raiden's a, a badass nickname. The proprietary it's a badass save name. frequency is one four zero point nine. Oh, new saves, new save. Man. Switched frequencies, Jack. What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? I can immediately broke the rule. <laughs> is there something special about it? Isn't there? My birthday. I can't remember. I'm sorry. Stop. Oh well. I'll keep anniversary. trying until I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. It'll be the anniversary of when they first met. Yeah, come on, Jack, pull your head out of your ass. It's clearly an important thing. Oh, oh, God! Oh, ah! God! Drop me alive! Drop me alive! This, man this is not the time to be calling me! The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. <laughs> Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out yeah, of Yeah, it's a little fucking late for that, dude! 
You can do it. Oh, we just run it. Okay, you just run it. I like it. Oh, they got your butt, bro. Wow. These enemies are fucking smart. Do not take them lightly. Clear. This music. Did you see that? Did you see that? He saw you. He sees you. No, did you see the way he kind of like uh he tilted his the head. He tilted, like he's clearing properly. Clear. They're like systematically clearing this room. about this is so fucking dope dude like the music him clearing through clear, clear. if you press up against the box you might be able to see what they're doing oh fuck oh. you <laughs> no you would have got caught anyway because they were walking over oh, oh yeah, there you go there you go bro nice. beautiful nice. Are they knocked out run for your life oh dang Right, you learning today, bro. You learning a valuable lesson in life today. God. That Don't jump over, dude. Why? As you're pressed up against it, press Y. There oh, did you see him do that nasty flip thing, though? <laughs> that cartwheel <laughs> flip was nasty, bro. <laughs> this dude's in the gymnastics, man. He's nasty. What the? Again, the composer was in their bag, just all the way in there. Norihiko Habino and Harry Gregson Williams, the ultimate duo. They absolutely destroyed it. But yeah, dude, if you recall a couple streams ago when we were watching the trailer for this game, one of the things we talked about was about how divisive this game was at release. Because if you imagine, people were waiting for this game for like three years. And in that trailer that we watched a couple weeks ago, there was no writing. Like, yeah. there was no, no writing whatsoever. Yep. Uh-huh. They had he me was pumped present up and yeah, people were pumped up for Snake. He was not present in any of the marketing materials. And then, yeah, a few hours into this game, they do that switcheroo where it's like, yeah. oh, shit, Dang. who's this guy? The trailer has gameplay. The trailer has gameplay from this section of the game, but they replace they Raiden replace with Snake. Snake. Wow. To deliberately mislead everyone. Holy snap, Bear, you're insane. <laughs> oh, he's my going, he's God. He's going for it. He's going for it. There's no other way to get out of there, man. You, you just have to sit tight and wait for the elevator. There you go. Did you see when they woke up, they radioed in that they'd been attacked? Oh. No, I didn't see that. So he said, I've been, I'm under fire, basically. And then the commander on the other side said, secure the perimeter. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. okay. At least the elevator's clear. We like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. You're, 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 oh! you're good. You're good. He didn't radio in. You're incredible, nice bro. If you get to him fast enough, you take him out. You're totally good. <clears throat> Give me a face reveal. Here it is. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons That's the name of, of the game! The name of their leader of is Solid Snake. What? <laughs> what? I'm oh, Solid Snake! Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could Look at these survived? faces. Look at the faces hey, on these two lads. I'm, I'm, I'm Snake. He's dead now. Snake is back. What the hell is happening? But they're saying that he. Why does that guy look like Cloud? What the hell is that guy? <laughs> but they're saying he he died on that tanker, no so it could be someone else. It would only take one to spot me in this light. <clears throat> you never had daylight VR training after all. Why? He has 300 missions in VR. Why didn't they do daylight at all? From. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Okay. Strut B? Hind D? The big shell oh, is wow, comprised look at of this Struts thing. 1 and 2. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. 
So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of Strut A, Shell 1 at the moment. Big area. I'm gonna imagine this is probably the, where the rest First, of the game takes place. get to a node. Log into the network. So I was gonna say, Mike, on a ship, uh, on a boat at the beginning of the game, I was like, this isn't a big enough area for us to be playing an entire game in. You know what I'm saying? This seems like a big enough area. This is wild. This is blowing my mind, dude. I am, I'm blown away. No, hey, great job, kind of funny best friends. Nobody, like, spoiled this or alluded to this. I also yeah, know that me and like, Baron, stop really looking at the chat, and whenever you write in the chat, trust me, I read like a one fourth of it anyway. So <laughs> this is a wild. I mean, I mean chat, chat was for sure like putting in work to not spoil shit. Like I'm very hey, proud job, of chat. Cat. That was great for all of these streams. Right, and look at that wire fence. You may be able to crawl through it. Crouch down using the crawl button, then push the left stick in the direction you want to move. Push the crawl button again to stand up. You can use weapons even while crawling. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm sick of this man. <laughs> uh, if you want to see something amusing, run down. Not here. Yeah, run down. Up against the wall, just run back and forth there. Up against the other wall. You see where the bird poop is? Yeah. Just run back Put and forth. Face and on it. Oh! <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> Okay, our goal is to make an enemy slip on bird poop somehow. That would be lit. What would be better? Like, oh, at one point, at the end of the day, when we're oh, done with okay, all nice. these games, Mike, we got to do a ranking of like what was the best way to kill someone. Right now, number one, throwing them in lava. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, that was dope. That was a great in. clip. Do we really have no line of communication with the seals? They don't know a thing about us. You know, we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. There's a version of this game that has a uh, m mode where you can... Uh, it's basically a skateboarding game in the big show. What? So it's like it's Tony Hawk, but in Big Show. That's hilarious. Is there a reason I, I can sneak back here? Any, any goodies? Any? No. All right. Might just be a good place to hide. The saxophone absolutely puts in work in this soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, like, Raiden's got the booty that y'all think Snake has. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first he, floor to but look at the rest of him. Understood. My man's a piece of paper. I love He's a pa piece of paper, paper, paper waist up. The rest of it is just okay. Like, look at how thick those legs are. Man's been doing squats for five years straight. <laughs> Hundreds of VR missions. Colonel, I've located the node. The but it's node. Under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. Ooh. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. You were saying the blue box patch is live. All right, whatever. We're playing a, an actual good Kojima game here. Hmm? I just turned on my PS5. Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, God. So I gotta activate a node in every new area to get the map. Basically, yeah. When Fuck. you're out of this, can you do me a favor? Just hit the right stick and see. I, th I don't know if it does it in this game. Or it might be just Metal Gear Solid 3. It might shift the camera, edge the camera around so you can get more of a look at what's around you. Um, does it always go running... to this option? Does it always go to this option? Yeah, yeah, you have, okay. you have to. You have to, like, piece out of it. Press the right stick? Yeah, see if you can move the right stick. Does it do anything? No. no. Okay, cool. There must be three then. I could have sworn that if you like move the right stick, it would like sh shift the camera around the environment. Nah, I don't have an M9. Fuck. Or it might be in like the subsistence. 
version of Metal Gear. This is lovely stuff. Why is this music so good, bro? Dude, Somebody dude. send so this good. man an award immediately. Holy snap. You can move the camera around in cover though. So when you're pressed up against the wall and like looking around, yeah. you can like shift it around, yeah. 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 Are you about to get choked out, you brownie? Oh, nice. Enemy spotted. Uh, oh my god. I love that sound. Uh -oh. neck. Stop killing people, Raiden. <laughs> Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body mm. as soon as possible. Okay. I, I don't need you to explain that to me. You're, also, the other thing to note is, like, um, you, you don't have to be as sneaky as you are being. Mm. Like, they, they probably won't, they almost certainly won't hear your footsteps unless you're running on something that's loud floor-wise. Yeah. So if it's a metal grate, just normal floors, you can just run up on people. Ooh, I didn't even notice these lockers over here. Anything good? Any goodies? God damn it. It's real satisfying playing people in lockers. They always fit like very snugly. Sounds like a helicopter. Oh shit, it's one of those oh, drones. Those drones things, yeah. Can't believe Kojima invented drones. Raiden, watch your back. That's a cipher. A type of UAV. I'll be back in one second. If it spots mm -hmm. you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. Chaff that. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. <laughs> some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, come uh -oh. the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. Uh-oh. All Alpha, respond. Uh-oh. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Oh, I gotta find some fucking shaft grenades first, though. There it is, there it is. Yep, chaff them. I don't have any chaff grenades, buddy. Oh no, no chaffs? Okay. Yeah. Do your thing. Dip it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. You're Gucci, you're Gucci. <laughs> You're Gucci. He dipping. He dipping. You're Gucci. This man's running a 4440, y'all. This should be in the Olympics. Strut. This man. Oh, this is, is Strut run. F. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Nothing here. What I miss? I'm in. I'm in Strut F. I think I went the wrong way. Okay, nice. Yeah, you can check your map too to see which Strut you're at. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is really helpful. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Right? Look at this map. Well, oh, honeycombs. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the rest of the game right here, Mikey. Look at how big this fucking place is. Okay.
So do you know where you're supposed to be going right now? Yeah, the the uh, the SEAL team got fucking murked, and they had just gotten the president, and they're at strut B. I went the wrong way, so we gotta go the other way. Because we had just entered strut F. how the uh, computer turns on as you approach it. Oh, no, I didn't notice that. Okay, it reacts to your nanomachines. Oh. Now, do these nanomachines have fox die and they're going to fucking kill me at some point? Who knows? God damn it. Right and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Hang. Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. God damn, dude. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right. I'm giving it a try. Don't oh shit, there's a the gun on the other gauge. side. God damn. It will keep decreasing I gotta stop reading chat. Maneuver. Chat, y'all Once it cheeky. runs out, you will fall. Should I go get that gun then? Yeah, you can go get the gun. Yeah, all right, I will. I'm done it. reading the chat. I kind of wanted you to figure it, figure that out. Your <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I was like, oh shit, I fucked up. Like, uh, I figured it out to go the other way. But I guess. Oh god. This is a bandy nap, y'all. <laughs> Blessing, stop it. You're feeding into it, dude. You're fucking feeding it. into I, it. I, my, my job is video game news. I have to keep up with Ooh, the video game news. Don't, don't, don't come in here and be like, oh, 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 like, oh, shit, like it's actually a Kojima game or some shit. No, I'm saying, oh, oh and people are going to be pissed off at this thing. Oh, okay. It's like, it's, it's like a two second trailer. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew it. Great. I knew it. It's a, it's, it's a two second trailer and a tease for a bunch of trailers that are going to be available soon. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Trisha, for the raid. Welcome in, the Raiders. Uh, you are watching myself and Barrett Courtney's first time ever playing the Metal Gear Solid franchise. We have Tam and Blessing Jr. here Ooh. with us. They are our Metal Gear experts, and uh, we're having a great time. Thank you so much for the raid, Trisha. Have a wonderful weekend with you and the family. We're trying to be spoiler-free in here as well. It's my first time ever seeing it. We got the M9, Mikey. We got the gun. Is that the trank dart? That's the trank dart? I think dart? so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man's hair is check, flowing You can check right in now. the uh, menu to confirm. Yeah. Yeah, we got the... It's the I'm suppressor. I love it. Now, do I need a... Besides that gun right there, do I need a, to hang out here? Uh, no, you don't have out. to. Your objective your, your objective isn't here. Yeah. But it's up to you. It's up to you to do what you want. I don't like that I don't have the mini map. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest about that. Hermit Homeboy says weapons that are blue are non-lethal. Red is lethal. Nice call. That's awesome. Oh shit, man. Oh, there's a magazine down there. What? They got magazines now? Okay. Oh, there's that man. Oh, okay, There's that man. Okay. Mama, there goes that man. Here comes the boy. Here comes the boy. Here comes the boy. Yes, great job, Bear. Your shot is still on. Your shot is on. I call him the sure shot for a reason. Sure shot. Sure shot, sad Bear Corny. Ah. Give us a door key, y'all. Oh, he is so calm. Okay. One thing I will uh, offer as a tip is in areas where you don't have your radar yet, make liberal use of first person to look around and mm. like survey your surroundings. Okay. Mm, okay. All right. We have two. We have a level two and a level three door here. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, we got stairs over there, so that's probably where this leads. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, 
Christ, dude. Let me jump over. The situation is more open. They woke that man up, Mikey. They slapped him in the face and they woke him up. Pucha! Get up! So do you know what happened? Yeah, he was uh, like doing regular call-ins, and it, yeah, it's the exactly. classic Batman thing. Where, 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 like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. I assume it comes from this, but from what I know, right? Of like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. when they're looking around and they're checking in with each other, and they don't hear from one another, like they're they're like, oh shit, nothing here. Yep. Oh shit, nah. Yeah. Is that the fucking? Is he above me? I think that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we got shaft grenades, baby. Nice, nice. Oh, that man's stretching out right there, getting his daily yoga in. Ten minutes, stretch that body, get that blood flowing. Goes a long way. Till I train dart you. Ba bang, bit. Get him. Choked out. Oh, come on. Imagine being that dude. Like you're just walking along, then suddenly you've been, you're upside down, and then you get up, and then you're dead. Yeah, a man in a skull suit. And you had just woken you. up because, and you, you got knocked out because you don't know why, and you just woke up. Yeah. You're kind of groggy. You're like, what the fuck's going on here? It's fucking death. Imagine getting to heaven and having that conversation with Jesus. It's like, <laughs> I, don't know. I have no idea. I don't know <laughs> what happened. I like, never not, saw I, I woke up and immediately I'm here again. Jesus, like, how'd you even get here? You're a terrorist. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Oh, they're looking for people. They're like, yo, we're checking in. Why aren't yep. you calling me? Yep. Oh my god. I thought I had you it use, down. You can use first person there. Yeah, that's true. I'm not gonna waste my shaft grenades on this jabroni because we can just no, easily wait you, for him you to you go run down. Right past him. See ya. Boom. This is cool with some light, right? Like a big contrast to one where we're in Alaska and it was dark yeah. and snowy the whole time. Like mm -hmm. to see this, like with a lot of sunshine and the map being really clear as day and these bright walls and stuff too that aren't just gray like up in Alaska as well. This is cool. A lot of different color tones. I like that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Trank dart. Hmm? Oh, you waiting on a jabroni? Nice job. Ooh! Good shot. That was Great close. Great shot. Yeah. Great shot. That was like shoulder right there. A little shoulder blade. So one thing you can do, you see that floor panel is super loud. Yeah. Uh, try running and then pressing the roll button as you approach it. Yeah, so you can avoid oh, he jumped side. over and he cartwheeled over it. Nice. There's some anime shit right here. Oh, this man, yeah. this man's got moves. Snake wasn't doing this, just so everybody knows. So, like, yeah, maybe no, I like Rise more than Snake now. Hey, all right, all right, everyone calm down. <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe I like was, this guy more. Snake was slithering on floors. He was hiding in boxes. Riding it with that bullshit. Riding me doing cartwheels. <laughs> what are we doing? Snake stuff, could slither so Ryden could cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to go I'll see a giant scary monster. Or something all here. Snake did was talk with a deep voice and have. <laughs> well, apparently now he's a terrorist blessing. I don't know how to feel about it. 
You gotta be uh, honest. The only reason why we all love Snake is because because of, of that ass. That dumb truck. <laughs> that, you got that dumb truck. No wonder Throat Goat was calling him. <laughs> man had an inverse butt. Y'all just lying to yourselves. Oh, oh man, that's a lot of blood, y'all. Hallway full of blood. Right, this is the SEAL team, right? This is the SEAL uh, 10 or whatever. Oh, is this SEAL team? Yeah, they had almost they had rescued the president, but then they got killed by something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Seems to be oh! To oh! Fuck! Damn it. Oh, I can't hit Just cut that man's leg. Ah! Where's the president, though? They had the president! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I do. Just start blind spraying yeah, and praying, y'all. Yeah. Me and Apex right there. Who the fuck is this creepy man? Why is he not wearing a shirt? <gasps> oh no, no. The vampire. <sighs> okay, it might be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any way to find out. He's dancing on him! Does he have a bulletproof coat? Oh, dude, he gus fringed it, man. Oh, he's just taking a bath in that blood too, just showering in it. Hey, well, we're not murdering that man. All right, well, seal ten is down. What's going on, Alpha? Respond. We have an hour left, y'all. Nice. Let's never stop. I never want to. <laughs> We're canceling we X cast. Spend, exactly. We could just spend the whole night and then weekend together doing this. Let's do it, y'all. Jesus Christ, man. He is sucking Dude, that man's blood. Dude, he's a fucking vampire. Oh. Uh, no, no, no. We're not. We're not. Uh, there's no way to confirm that just yet. You can't be sucking up Come people's on, blood Tam. like that, Tam. You can't no, be. Oh, no, no. You're making a lot of assumptions. He, maybe he likes kissing. Nuts. That man shrieks yeah. like he was a fucking vampire. All right, no, dude. No, you are making a lot of assumptions right what now. Yeah, you guys are doing a lot what? based off of this man. First thing is coming out of this guy's mouth is I'm a vampire. <laughs> There's no way to tell whether he's a vampire tell. or not. Five today. Oh, oh he's, he's doing the cut thing. He's doing like the Victor Zaz shit here. His name is literally Vamp. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way to tell. Okay, <laughs> you're making a lot of assumptions. All right. Whoa. Oh god, he's got the teeth too! Get down! Yo, Yo Seals Team 6 about to save us. Point it's a genetic work. thing that he has no teeth. Phil Lamar did the did the voice Where of is he? oh shit. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Ah! Oh he's yeah, get that fucking oh, okay. gun, bro. Not that that's gonna do anything to him. Strange smell. You smell like. Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Oh, that's snake. There's, no, that's not snake. I'm making a lot of assumptions about that guy. Yeah, queen. Are you all done cleaning up? Oh, yeah, Queen? Wait till I tell you what I found. <laughs> 
Yes, queen. Is that where this originated? Is, is this, this where that originated? Kojima came up with yes, queen. Who's he talking to? We dealing with vampires? Oh shit! <gasps> Oh, I guess the zombies in the different uh, in the different dimension in Metal Gear Survive is a little less wild now. The fact that we're dealing with vampires. Again, I'm excited for all of that to pay off with Metal Gear Survive. All of the story that we're getting right now. I'm excited for that. Didn't put human vampire. I'm way, not man. an enemy. Calm down. Oh, yeah, that's dude, that's fucking solid snake, bro. Yeah, that's our guy. There we know is his no, boy. it isn't. There's no way for you is... to know that. My name is Dave. Plissken. Plissken. Okay. Lieutenant Junior Grade. His name is Iroquois Pleskin. That's Iroquois Pleskin. Ah! He just doesn't have the headband on. That's definitely Snake. He's got what the fucking hell are you talking about. <laughs> I don't know. That's Iroquois Pleskin. How did you Pliskin. get in? That's Iroquois Pleskin. From a Navy chopper. You're the kind of person who looks at Superman and goes, "That's Clark Kent." Uh. <laughs> have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Strategic Any field experience? Placement. No, I love the videos, really. bro. I love so these this videos. Is your first. I'm just I've glad it's not training that a hundred by two hundred. The real <laughs> like what? <laughs> it's like the Sneaky fucking tiny 60, on the screen. Weapons 80. <clears throat> advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. That is gameplay for it from the original. Oh, oh shit, that's cool. The digital yeah. age. That's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Zoom in on Barrett there. Was that a bunch of Top solid five. snakes dancing in VR? <laughs> <laughs> what was that shot? So you were saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right, what's oh, going on? Looking at my Oculus Quest the right Alpha now. The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a Cursing single survivor. It. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah, Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. Kill him. It's a little too late for that. This dude took off his his headband. Like I was a really long hoping that JG played skin would be like the. It, I don't know why I'm in a Simpsons reference mood today, but like when when they call Moe's and they're like, uh, uh, I'm looking for a, a My uh, Wiener. What the hell? A Navy I was hoping he would make Raiden say something stupid. <laughs> All right. Give me a few minutes. Yeah, there was a bug that came out of him earlier, lost and I'm, I'm not. I thought. I'm not feeling it, Mike. We saw that bug crawl out, the crawl out of snake. Just now, that blood sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Let's relax, Snoop Dogg. A special forces yeah. unit created by ex president Snoop Dogg in that, va Sears. in that Dracula movie, remember that one too? <laughs> its anti terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close Fat to the man, edge, but they became more and more extreme. And George began Sears. to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? 
chat the be cool. was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. See? You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Snake. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Rescuing the president. Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. Can't tell me nothing. I don't smoke. <laughs> Keep it anyway. Nerd. It come in handy. I like this Iroquois Pliskin guy. Yeah, crazy how they got David Hayter to voice Will Snake. Yeah, wow, double Take duty. Too. Big pull. Hold on, where's my uh, where's my face cam? This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between B and C. It's Iroquois Pliskin, Barrett. Iroquois Jones, bro, he's here. <laughs> Iroquois Jones. Have either of you seen uh, Escape from New York? No, not yet. Aren't okay. you going to answer to. him? Do you know what the main character's name is? Snake Plitskin. Big Plitskin. Yeah, right. Snake Plitskin. Plitskin. Okay. It is Snake Plitskin. The BC connecting bridge. We need to Can get BC there. These Can nuts? you handle it? I need a few Oh, minutes. don't do that with my initials, please. <laughs> Remember my frequency. <laughs> Keep it's that smut to GameSpot after dark, all right? 141.80. Got it. Oh, my bad. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication. That cell is a great name for a group. Yeah, but I can patch into yeah. you. That cell is a great name for a game. It is. Mm -hmm. They should make one. Call it a, make it a roguelike. Hey, what's your name? Jack. Ryden. Okay. Uh, Ryden. Strange code name. It's cool. Makes it for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. <clears throat> Something's going on with the uh, with Snake here. I refuse to call him by whatever fucking name you guys have made up, but. Um, also, let's go here. Nice. Yeah. I noticed it in the cutscene. I was like, all right, yeah, we should we should stop by there if we can. Yeah, nice. I don't like that it makes him a red dot, like uh, like he's an enemy. Holy snap! If I were you. Well, he said, "Back up, bro. fool! You better Iroquois back got that down." Thing ready. I'm, Whoa, I, I'm glad that I fucking did that, though. That was fucking funny. <laughs> oh my Holy God, shit, dude! <laughs> he said, "Back up, that Barrett. was that was Snake <laughs> saying, back "Fuck around up. and find out." Yeah. Exactly. Where did I come Holy in through? Where am I going? I'm Where smoking am I going? a cigarette while sleeping, and I'll still murder you, bro. <laughs> Okay, this is where I came from. I mean, that, that was uh, Iroquois Pliskin saying Jack, fuck around. Fuck okay. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Oh, good call. Yeah, yeah, we'll save. Good call, Rose. Wait, yeah, if, you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell yet, Kojima really loves film, by the way he's naming these characters. Really? Between Jack and Rose and... I've never Stay heard good. Kojima talk about your film he whatsoever. Doesn't, he doesn't Tomorrow's tweet about it that much. Yeah. Right. Again. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? It's her birthday. Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? 
Okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do Analyze with these nuts. Snake. Oh. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record. A lot of Rose hate in chat. Damn. You should be able to request top level uh, security Rose. clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Oh no, I like Rose. Rose kind of baddie. Yeah. Rose, Rose is fine. Leave Rose alone. She's annoying as fuck, but you know. <laughs> leave Rose alone. She's annoying as fuck, but she's leave her alone. Fuck, but, like, you know, she's kind of. <laughs> She kind of fine. Yeah, she kind of fine. So. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh oh, that's not good, Mike. Is that our man shooting? Is that Iroquois Jones? No. No, no. no. Good <laughs> Jones. <laughs> He's still smoking his Marlboro. And Whatever happened to Robot Jones? Love it. Oh shoot, these dudes in the head right so now. So was Otacon, and we came to love him. No, I never came to love Otacon. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You'll get there. What is going on here? Just or you might up. get more, one of the two. He's got a big ass gun. There's the president. There's the president. That's solid as snake. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Okay, who's this lady? Familiar. What, what the, the fuck? Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? There's Vamp. Oh, he is a strong boy. Manhandled the president there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Queen. Yeah, Don't let them take the president! God, that is a big fucking gun. Oh, Seal 10 had a lot of people. Ready grenades. I would have assumed it would have been like a 10 man operation or something. She does not give a fuck about that grenade. A dud! A dud! What are the odds it's a dud, bro? Seems like she has good fortune. Look at this gun. But I'm just. Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Don't pull up on the lady with a rail gun. God, fortune is a move though. That power know. that's like powered by electricity. Like what the fuck? What kind of gun was that, man? Oh, these all rail guns are powered by electricity. This is incredible, Kevin. You've missed out on an epic. I'm, story. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. How was that Raiden reveal? It was great. Unreal. Yeah. This has been unreal. This lady is dope. Fortune. Yeah, His music dope. too is smacking. Oh, that bird is <laughs> toasted. I'm so sorry, my beauties. <laughs> I'll see you again someday. All right, seagulls. I'll see you later. God, that gun is so cool. Look at this. Damn, we killed so many seagulls just now. Was it not just the one? Uh, I saw uh, a couple more fall. Down. Colonel, what the fuck? Colonel, SEAL Team 10's <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Cleansing that. That's the word these should have said. Yeah, that's what I'm like, Colonel. Get me the fuck out of here. I'm not going to have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It's a carrier, it just means but it's the anticipated attack. What? Besides, 
Since the seals drew their fire, That's a big rock from Pokemon and without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? Your life is in your hands, There's dude. There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Well, I thought no one's supposed to know that I was here. To... Make up what your are you mind, about? Campbell. Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? <laughs> Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. God, and that Dead vampire, so cool. too. It's, it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. You're needed on Strut C. Is this some sort of dream sequence? Like <laughs> snakes just floating in the water, he's unconscious, and all of a sudden we got a dream? This is, a, is this real? <laughs> there's a lot of talented people in the kind of funded community, so I have a request to make if that's okay. I know there's an emoji of Barrett's face really zoomed in in the Twitch. Yeah. If someone can get a high res version of that and Photoshop it into the Metal Gear Solid 2 codec. Uh, over <laughs> oh, I would love that. I would love that. Oh, I like when you go into first person, you kind of like, like hear like the fucking. Yeah, the wind. The wind there's, and shit. I have so many questions. I cannot wait. <laughs> I have so many questions. My weekend is going to be ruined now because of this. <laughs> My weekend is ruined. Be sitting there tapping my foot, thinking about is this a dream? Is this real? Who the heck is this jabroni that's looking like cloud? What's happening right now? You know we gotta check. You know we gotta check. So, uh, how long it. have you guys been uh, riding? Uh, oh, we've been maybe riding like for about an hour maybe and a half, maybe. No, not that long. Uh, it's I mean, not that much. I think at the end of the stream we'll be at an hour and a half. I think it turned at about yeah. 90 minutes, right? The halfway point yeah. it took a turn. Mike, do we still want to do some uh, some anime talk today at some point? Uh, no, Baird, I don't want to talk about anything but this. Unless Blessing <laughs> wants to talk about it. I don't want to I'll talk about my, anything but this. I'm good to wait. I can hold my, Okay. My okay. Mind I know, know y'all are talking about Code Geass this. and stuff. I just want to throw one thing out there for anime anime talk before we get into like more plot stuff here. Is uh, I want to throw out Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, which Ooh, I know have you watched it yet? I have not touched it at all. I know it's on HBO Max. I just thought I just thought that would be a fun one. Like we could watch like the first ten episodes or something and talk about it. Good show. Sure. Blessing sure. you I've into heard, that. I've heard so many people talk about Jujutsu Kaisen. Is it is it sub only right now? On HBO Max, I think it's uh, in English, but I could be wrong oh, about that. Well, I if like it's in dub. English. It's I'm down to consider it. All right. I know that's sacrilege for so many people, but mm, I like dubs, right? Okay. Yeah, there's nobody to choke out in these bathrooms, which makes me very I'll, upset. I'll but. watch. I'll watch a couple episodes if you guys are into that blessing. If you're okay. into it, I'll do it with y'all. Stick I'm on down. Psycho so, Pass. Start watching Psycho Pass, everyone. I've heard Come so many on. good things about Psycho Pass. Don't I'd you, say, you've seen plenty of shonen anime? Just watch a I'd, Psycho Pass. I'd say it. for the next week, let's stick to Code Geass because I'm sure. Uh, I don't know where you're at with, with it, Mike, but I'm sure you probably have stuff to catch up with because it's a long season, it's like uh -huh, 25 yeah, episodes. Yeah. So I crunched it all into into one week, but I, I kind of want to go back and refresh myself on it uh, a little bit. But then maybe the week after we do uh, some okay. deal. Oh, snap! Freeze! Don't shoot. No fucking freeze, dipshit. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. 
Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. Oh, it's uh. What's your name? Iroquois. Indica. Iroquois Jones. Indica. Indica Jones. Indica Jones. Indica Indian head. Also a consultant for the NYPD. What's his actual name in this? Is it Pliskin? A poor old man. Yeah, it's Iroquois Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Yeah. That's the throwback to Escape from L.A. Escape New York, right? Yeah, we can't keep up with everybody. We brought that up. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. Look at this Steve so Harvey looking motherfucker. In every in every game, there's a Steve Harvey. Yeah. In every Metal Gear Solid, there's a, there's a Steve Kid, Harvey. This is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook, and you'll see his name. Yeah. <laughs> Just Steve Harvey. History now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. This is a terrible the library. of explosives. Fat Man. Fat Man? He built an atomic yeah. bomb when he was only 10. Fat Man is the GOAT. I created my it favorite. in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. An atomic bomb at the age of 10, Mikey. What the Looks fuck? Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. <laughs> any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed it's to octagon. get past all the security measures. I'm throwing I it out there. Is it Octagon? That. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Oh, right shit. now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEALs EOD squad. Yup. So we have to do it's it ourselves. It's love that you're doubling but down on going to <laughs> His name is <laughs> Octagon, Hold bro. Don't worry about it, people. to confer with the CO again. That's because I've forgotten the other name, and I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, still oh, Otaku safe. Convention. A system Otaku, at any rate possible thank you. to clear the C4 from the structure. Well, his name is Otaku. Oh, you know I've never been trained okay, in Okay, see, now you're throwing too many blessings. Now you're being... <laughs> but it comes, it comes from Otaku, Otaku Convention, is what I'm All saying. you have to do is follow his directions. <laughs> you will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized <laughs> now. Colonel, the nothing news says Gaspacha caught in the chair. <laughs> Jack, it's me. Rose, <laughs> you can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're Imagine if your this. boss was like, you, you can handle that. C4, you got this. How about it, kid? And like, Greg Miller, no, I am not. Yet. Exactly, Greg's like, you got this. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. Like, imagine getting a call, Bear, from Tim, and he's like, hey, Bear, I know you got a busy day. Here's the thing. You know, we need you to handle some C4. <laughs> this is a C4 bomb. I'd be like, no, I <laughs> be like, I fucking quit. <laughs> it's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate that wasn't this condition. Ins instantly, Even if you know what I mean? Alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal, but this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. Damn. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. 
Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4. God damn. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's oh, okay. Right. Why does he have his eyes closed when he talks? I don't like this. Uh, so I don't trust this detected will be guy. Visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics God, he is. Jack is so cool. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. Cosé. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. Damn. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. Mm. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. I like Thank this you. Iroquois Pliskin guy. Yeah. Take Indica this. Jones is great. He does seem <laughs> chill. He's in the couch. Yeah. He's chill. I like it. Calm under pressure. I miss Throat Goat, What's though. What's this? I miss, I miss Throat Goat. It's Rest in peace, Throat personnel. Goat. R.I.P. Throat Goat. Oh, throat what, goat. what level security do we the get? Big shell security I'm guessing one. We couldn't even open one doors. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing. Your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need to get into the Do you think two. Jones knows Octagon? How did you get this? <laughs> that engineer <laughs> the gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. Boo. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. Damn. There's a war going on here. I don't have can time to base it He's gotta anymore. be real, he's gotta be real, you know what I mean? Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a Next to my microwave. Just in case. In case of what? 
Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. Look at the ass. Look at the ass as he walks what away. Ass? That's what I'm talking about. There that is what I'm no talking sense. about, Barrett. Let's not talk about the ass. You check out fucking Raiden's cod piece. <laughs> you mean like junk? Oh, Again, yeah. waist down, Raiden is thick as fuck, all right? And Snake wishes he could this, be this there. This angle right here is a really good angle for Raiden. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god, we're still going on this cutscene. <laughs> oh, man. I need a, I need a bathroom break after this cutscene. Like, there are going to be some streams where, at the start of them, we're going to have to make popcorn. By the time we get into the future of this franchise. Yeah, but by the end of it, the popcorn's gonna be all done. It's gonna be that exciting. Is he one of the yeah. terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. Damn. Steve Harvey's going I'm... in. Yeah, Steve Harvey got some words. Just take care of those bombs. For Throwing me. verbal hands. What about you? Like, they could be back Bob's in this drive. area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Alrighty. Well, a lot just happened there, Mikey. I will be right back. Okay. I gotta go to the restroom. Well, Bear goes to the restroom. Let me first off just say, wow. Okay, I was trying to write up a description for what would be in the YouTube um, description line of the stream, and I have no idea. I just wrote, there's a lot going on. Enjoy the video. Wow, wow. That's Which really a, funny. <laughs> it took a long turn there, Kevin. Everything was going as planned, right? I'm on the boat. I got a plan to freaking stop Revolver Ocelot and President Guspacho, right? Then all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm taking photos from my guy Octagon. I'm uploading the photos. Then all hell breaks loose, Kevin right everything goes to just absolute shit then all of a sudden that thing goes off he's gonna take back metal gear ray to the president snake is just floating in the harbor he was only a hundred yards away from the mainland like what you tell me the man is dead psych doesn't matter two years in the future we're going out to this big oil tanker looking thing and we got to shut shit down and now all of a sudden i'm this jabroni who i don't even know i don't even like this jabroni kevin yeah, and yeah. then there's no, like you know. left turn right turn there's a vampire here there's yeah. Over there, there's what? SEAL teams over there. There's this lady with a rail gun who just doesn't care about anything. She's looking for a challenge. She wants somebody to battle her. And this little jabroni, he ain't gonna battle her. Then all of a sudden, I meet this one jabroni. His name's Indica Jones. He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. I'm like, you snake? He's like, I'm not snake. I'm like, you ever heard of snake? He's like, nah, snake sucks. But here's a cigarette. And I'm like, dope. Cigarettes are dope. They're not dope, but they're dope, right? And then all of a sudden, he's got cockroaches coming out of him as if it's men in black, right? He's like, oh, snap. Is this the cockroach guy from men in black? I don't know what's happening anymore. Then I meet bomb daddy. And he's like, yo, I trained this one jabroni. Fat dude. Dude, and he's yeah. making bombs and I'm making bombs. You got to stop the bombs. He's rubbing cologne on the bombs so you can smell the bombs. It's like, what is happening in this video game right now? The other thing too, uh, also, <laughs> I want to draw, draw your attention to uh, Barrett and Mike. If you look at your tweets, there is a, someone's uh, replied to, or sent us a, uh, Mike O'Leary has sent us a picture that is very, Oh, okay, very hold good. on, hold on. Uh, maybe I can share it. <laughs> Here, yeah. if I go, ooh, this is gonna get complicated. I only have two. Uh, let's see. If we go here, and then let's it's go. Very good. Mike O'Leary. It's Michael R. O'Leary. He did tweet at us, so it'll be in your replies. No mentions.
Oh my god, I love it, Mike. <laughs> Mikey, I love it. I love it. Hold on, hold on. Mikey, Mike, can you send me the Mikey. link for it? Can you send me the link? Oh, of course. Tell me. Give me one second. I'll slag it to you right now. They didn't tweet out the uh, the Viz account. Okay, uh, so they might have. Just okay. as a as a kind of uh, lay of the land. Black. Uh, every one of these trucks has a bomb in it. Right, I, I, I kind of put that in, like, uh, our, our next goal is to go into all yeah, of these structures, yeah, yeah, yeah. disable each yeah. bomb, um, I'm sure we'll run into some baddies on the way, and mm. then, oh, man, uh, and baddies. then, uh, Snake, not Snake, quote-unquote, is gonna handle the other, the other six bombs. Iroquois Pliskin. Yeah, Iroquois Pliskin is gonna mm -hmm. handle the mm -hmm. other shit, so. Um, hold on, I wanna bring this up, but I'm only dealing with two screens here, so let, give me a second, cause this is fucking hilarious. Um, let's go here. Let's go window capture. We'll go window capture three. Yeah, there oh we my go. God. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> very well done. <laughs> solid. Now, solid. Right. Solid do we need right to there. get you another uh, monitor? No, I three monitors is enough. It's just because I'm using. Oh, I thought you said you only. Oh, for playing the game. Yeah, because I, I I usually have three, and yeah, then I'm using yep, my yep. 1440p one for the, the Xbox. <laughs> that right is now. so good. That is so good. Good job, Mike. Uh, Mikey O'Leary. Mikey, great job, kid. <laughs> All right, I'll take that Fantastic. off. Let's jump in. We have about 20 minutes left um, on this. Okay, stream. give me the best 20 minutes. Let's go. Let's have a yeah. break. How are you feeling right this now? is cool got, watching we... you guys. I'll see you later. <coughs> Bye. See you later. Hi, Kev. I'll miss you. A lot has happened in the last two hours of streaming, two and a half hours of streaming. Mm. Where are you at now with it? I mean, I'm loving this. I like. I get why people are saying like, "Oh, it's the the Last of Us Part Two with like the the character change and all this stuff." Like, I'm just I'm having a really fun time, um, and I'm I'm excited to see like where the rest of this goes. Like, we're we're slowly putting things together, right? Um, hold on, I need, I need to I need to talk to this computer really quick. Um, I, I don't love this, the the voice for Raiden. That's the one thing where I'm like, you kind of sound like a nerd. You kind of remind me of Otacon a little bit in okay. that respect. What but... you got against nerds, Barrett? <laughs> I'm just, I'm very uh, self-hating. You know that blessing. Oh, yeah, um, right. And so, oh, this kind of looks like the, reminds me of the, the, the kitchen and the, the big area. Um, okay. All right. We got a bomb. I, I forget if it was you or Mike that I was talking about liking the angle uh, i wish you played Metal Gear solid one like the perspective of it being somewhat isometric with the with the camera pointed down towards snake and being able to explore that way how are you feeling about how this one handles it because I, I think it's a cool have, in, but... like i think it's a cool half set because i like yeah i've seen footage of metal gear solid uh five and stuff like that so i've, I've seen a, i, I kind of remember a little bit gameplay wise of like how it evolves but i think this is like a cool like kind of next step here of doing like a kind of relying a little bit uh going back and forth uh yeah it's like I'm a hybrid it. right yeah. where like you have you have fixed perspectives but you have way more control over the camera and it's yeah. like i think that kind of evolves throughout the series as well but it was it was kind of a hard thing to sell because i was like oh you're gonna you're gonna kind of get that same middle your sol solid fixed cam feel but it does modernize it a bit in a way that i think you're gonna like but well played you good found eye. pretty quickly very good eye I love the reflection in the mirror. It's super cool. Yeah, there's not That's a lot of wild. games these days that are capable of doing that. Obviously, like they have to render way more stuff, and more powerful. But I think if you press the shoot button, it should work. Yeah. No, it's the right stick. Oh, right stick. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. It rose that thing. Right in here, I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. <sighs> That's not like him. Uh oh. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskin's reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do huh. you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying oh. they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Okay. Okay. They're probably looking to distract us. Honestly, Mike, I feel like this is going to be a big time waster while they do something else. You know, uh, what I'm if saying, you run Mikey? next to the, if you run next to the hand dryer, it should turn on. If you press it. Oh wow, cool! Hell yeah! Pointless detail. <laughs> <laughs> doing like that nowadays. Yeah, bro. All right, you get hold that on. In Call of Duty. They ain't, 
They're not even able to shoot fruit in the latest Halo. I mean, unbelievable, dude. Get the <laughs> okay. does, it ma- does it matter which uh, direction <laughs> I go here? Uh, if I go back the way I came, or... There's some limitations, but you can pretty much just figure it out. It, it, you okay. can experiment. Go pick a place, and you'll be able to tell whether you can go there or not. But oh. usually, it's pretty free. You can shoot a lot of the watermelons in this game, by the way. They have they have fully modeled the watermelons. Oh yeah, dude. Mike, if you miss shooting the watermelons in Halo, like Metal Gear Solid, yeah. the franchise will let you do so many things to the watermelons. Let me tell you. I don't like how you said so many things to the watermelons. Oh, I'm not man. a fan of that place. <laughs> Gonna be real with you there. <laughs> Those watermelons don't stand a chance. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. We're close to it. We're close to it. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh! What a shuffle from that lad. Ah! <laughs> oh no. They are armored up. Dude, those drums, man. Isn't it? Like, whose idea was it to put bongos in the soundtrack? They flashbang you. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't quite to kick in for him. Do a cartwheel into them. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, just test it out. Which one's the cart? Is that A? Yeah, yeah. as you're running towards them. How they walk them up. I have to oh, do shit? Work. What the fuck? It does, <laughs> it does, it does, it does, it does Yeah, you can work. see you can reel between them. Yeah, you, you went between them. Oh, they got that angle. That Look at now. that angle. That was such a cinematic angle. Come on, man. This is like an ape out soundtrack. Yeah, Konami in it. Yeah, it like picks up every time it goes in the battle. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the ape out uh, indie game. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about ape escape. Yeah, you're talking about ape escape. <laughs> the other thing I'll, record, I'll, I'll mention as a tip is that you're not, you don't have to stay here. I know. But there's a bomb here and you gotta defuse that bomb. Yeah, dude. Barrett, that was incredible, bro. That was like one of those moments I didn't think you had it, but you had it, bro. Oh my god. Played. These sneaky f sneaks. Hey, Barrett's a gamer. Yeah. Oh, we're gaming today. That usually takes people a lot of time to find. Not bad, bro. He's freaking trained. He's done a hundreds of VR missions. Bear, I'm, I'm gonna need you to play a little bit worse so I can continue to hear that music. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can aim and then like shift to the side using the uh, trigger. I, I don't love that tactic. I'm gonna be honest. It doesn't feel as accurate as it should be. Yeah, it can. It can be a bit tricky to control. Let's fucking not, knock out these Cerberians and get through here. Knockout city.
Blessing, I had a fun time playing Skate 3 yesterday, but I was also, in my, in my heart, I was really missing Knockout City. Same. Yeah. Same. I'm glad we did it, but part of me is like, man, let's find some time, Barrett, me and you. We'll Knockout do it. City. We'll do it. Let's do a city tour. Look at these pro strats. Hmm? Big game of brain, huh? Oh. Hmm. What? Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, we got another room in here, boys. Tam, I'm thinking I'm going to start up MGS5. Yes, mate. Do I'm it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Do it right it. now. I'm feeling watching it. These, watching these necks get snapped this way. Hmm. Oh, wow. Nice. Bang. You're freaking diffusing bombs, bro. This is this is just easy. Tearing through it. It just looks like on the radar, someone's hotbox that area. <laughs> yep. Indica Mikey, Jones, Mikey lit up a... Indica Jones yeah. been out of it. Mikey lit probably up a fucking Indica tarantula, Jones. bro. <laughs> <laughs> We should organize like a kind of funny Metal Gear Solid 5 day where we just all jump on Metal Gear Solid 5 and confuse Konami for some reason. They're gonna be like, oh, why is there that. so many people exactly. on this server? People are finally playing this. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Why oh, look I, at you. I can't. Okay, back that thing up. Yeah, I can't quite. Back that thing up. Boy, who is he playing with? Oh, that Juvenile, right? That was a big song back in the day. That was a hot song, Juvenile. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to take a guess. Uh, who are you playing with? Back to the thing. Yeah. I was a big fan of when Drake took that and turned into a ballad. There it is. Uh, right it's there, right bro. there. It's right there. But, Mikey, this is Tell amazing me, here. And I'm wondering, with uh, some of these pipes and the way they're colored and stuff like that, like, I'm wondering if I need to, like, get a device to freeze cut. the pipe. Oh, maybe. Or here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh we no, you good, you good, it. bro. You the maze master, bro. Maze runner. <sighs> almost. Oh, you almost tried to do that? That would have been nasty if you did that. You know, I never did play much Metal Gear Survive. You don't. Uh, uh, you're, but you're better off. What yeah. Do outside just to give that game a chance. No. A little bit. No. Give it a chance. Let's it. give it an hour let's chance. All, let's all just give it a chance. Maybe Ooh. it was ahead of its time. Maybe you didn't realize. No. It is, it's, it's better now than it was when it launched because they balanced some of it out, but it's still not good. Your incredible silent action. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Yeah, Thank we're not everybody quite that's in there. Everybody that supported the stream. I don't know what to do here then. You 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 almost had it. I don't want to give you the solution, but you almost had it. Oh, okay. Hold on. It's kind of uh, the reason I'm saying you almost had it. I wouldn't really leave it to you, but this is this is kind of annoying and tricky. Okay. Give me. I'll, I'll ask you again uh, once I'm feeling real desperate. Yeah. And we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Crazy Asian in chat says, what about Metal Gear Revengeance? I do want to play Metal Gear Revengeance for a stream. Yeah, I mean... That could be a, like, after... Because I think the plan is... The the um, the commitment is Metal Gear Solids 1 through 4, and then maybe you take a break and then get into Peace Walker and 5. Yeah. Between between 4 and Peace Walker, if we're going to give a bear a break, I'm down to play Revengeance. Yeah. I'm down for anything Metal Gear. If you just say the word Metal Gear, I'll be there, bro. So yeah, the whatever you want. Revenge is definitely it's a different kind of game that story-wise, I think it would fit between four. Yeah, it would it fit between four and Peace Walker yeah, if you did it that way. Peace Walker, yeah. It holds up as well, very well. Yeah, I booted up a couple months ago just uh, so I can hack and slash some shit. I've not made it past the first three hours of that game, but every now and then I go into it just because I love the control scheme in it. Alright, Sam. Give me the give me the dish here. Uh, so run run back to where you were on the other side. Okay. And you crawl yeah. Up there. In there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he was at three. Yeah. Yeah, through there. Let me go left. Left. 
So this is the solution is in this area. Okay. Do you want me to just tell you, or do you want to figure it out? No, give me uh, give me another couple of minutes. Now that it, now that I'm we're in the right area, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We can crawl over here. So where is the bombing location to where you currently are? It's kind of like, it's yourself, like right, right under. It's yeah, it's like right underneath me. Oh, can yeah, I crawl so. under this guy? Ooh. Yeah, it's south to me. Oh god, who's calling me? No one's going to leave a bomb in a place that easy to reach. It would be more worthwhile to search convoluted areas that can't be reached simply by walking. Right after Thanks. <laughs> I figured that out, bud. <laughs> um. So, as Stillman just said, you can't get there by walking. You have to crawl there. And yeah. it is in this area. And it is to the south with you. So, you just need to figure out a way to crawl south. Oh, that man's awake. I think. That's the camera. I heard. A, I thought I heard a gasp or some shit. Oh, that was me, know. probably. Oh, okay. Oh no, he's still snoring. He's still snoring. Okay. Wait, what? I can't do it. Oh, I thought I figured it out, bro. Mm, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give up yet. You're almost there. Hold on. I need to check up on our fucking buddy here. See, this is where the tippy toes comes into use. You just like tippy toes, shoot him in the head from here. You're good. Yep. Oh, tippy toe that. Can you see oh. him? I don't, I don't think I can quite see him from this angle, though. Oh. Yep. Yeah, right in the ass. Yeah, it'll be alright. Right in the watermelon. <laughs> so you had the right idea. To crawl underneath it, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah. Oh! Nice. This is Raiden. Nice. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Hell yeah. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, Raiden. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm going to tell Pliskin to watch his back, too. Just hurry. Did this man Kojima murder Snake just so he could rename the jabroni Snake Pliskin? From the movie <laughs> that he likes to watch? Is that what he did? Did he murder this man just so he could rename him? What a move. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. I don't have a SOCOM yet, so that doesn't matter. Um, okay. You're tearing through these bombs. Yeah, you're yeah, doing great are. with the bombs. You're doing real good here. Unfortunately, though, Mike, we have reached Tell our me. three hours. Oh, so man. we're gonna no. we're gonna it call. Went by in a blur. We're oh, we're gonna Rose. call Rose. Is that who we call to save? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What's up, Jack? Map. What's up, Jack? 
Whoa. <laughs> kind of funny best friends get loud in the chat, because I got to tell you, that three hours went by in a blink of an eye. I'm still confused yeah. as all hell, but I was wow. having so much fun no that I might as well get comfy in this chair and just someone. keep going Jack, forever. But we got to get out of here because it's opponent. Friday. Live recording of the Kind of Funny X cast going down with me and Gary Witta later this afternoon. Tam will be streaming sometime this week, and I'm sure now, he just got I'm streaming now. He's streaming right We're now. Gonna We're going to raid him. He just got partnered. Barrett, blessing. You guys have been incredible. Say the final words and let's get out of here, boys. Today was amazing. My mind was blown away. Uh, I can't wait to... I can't... We got to wait another week, Mike. This is going to hurt, but I'm, I'm fucking ride or die on this game right now because I'm loving it. One full week. Blessing, what did you think? I'm having so much fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this. And I'm just here for the ride. I'm just here for the ride. I love seeing you guys react to everything. It's been so much fun. And uh, with that, unfortunately, we will need, we will not be back with another Metal Gear Solid stream until Thursday. But I got something special planned for y'all. We're going to do a Saturday stream next week. That means you get two days of Metal Gear Solid, y'all, because you have been incredible. Let's continue to fill up the bar. Let's keep having some fun. And let's go out there and enjoy Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Peace, everybody. Okay. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. The next Saturday, not tomorrow. Just a, just a yeah, heads oh up. Oh, yeah, not tomorrow, <laughs> Mr. Brody. Not tomorrow. The following week. The following week. Bye, Lucy James. You're incredible.